Let's call the meeting to order. Welcome guests. Uh, do we have any amendments to the agenda? No, not if you have the revised, revised agenda. <laughs> revised, revised agenda. Okay. Thank you for setting me straight. I don't know why I keep calling that. Uh, anyway, we won't okay. go there. With that, gentlemen, you're on. Okay. Um, we thought it would be good to come in and sort of let you know what we're thinking and what we're, what we're imagining for the future if we came in about a year ago, maybe a little bit more than a year ago. Um, <clears throat> we're still excited. Um, there's our challenge every day, and that keeps us, uh, keeps us invigorated. Um, a couple of things uh, I wanted to sort of start with before I forget. Um, there's a fellow named Phoenix from Worcester who started the coffee uh, ride share program. Hitching Post. Uh, hitching Post. The yeah, Hitching thanks. Post, yes. Yeah. And so he, he met with um, Liza and uh, myself and us about could we have a Hitching Post there. So they've planted a Hitching Post um, and it's connected to the whole sort of little web that's um, going on and that they're now connected to Northfield and the co-op and Worcester and Birch Grove and a couple of other places and here. And so they're passionate about it and um, seem good to support. So, but one of the things that I learned, and I can send you the information, that I don't have it right with me, if it's something you want to do, is that every town, it costs uh, 750 bucks to get hitched up with the hitching post and put the post in and all that kind of jazz. That's what Phoenix and his people do. Is that every, each town can apply for a $500 grant um, to cover the cost of these things. And as near as I can tell, nobody's been denied. Um, so if you're a town that has four hitching posts, well, you got to divide the 500 bucks up. Um, you, if it's something that you want to support, you might want to, you might want to apply for that grant, and then we would just pass it on to them. If that was something you wanted to do, it wouldn't be us. Um, so just something to think about. So just to be clear, you guys have agreed to pay the 750 dollars. Yeah, I think Eliza's going to pay for it. Okay. Um, Randy and Liza. Um, but we said we'd get it covered one way or yep. another. Um, well, and then in the process... Unless anybody has any objections, yeah. I don't know why we wouldn't apply, apply for it. the 500 right. bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Pay for it. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're, do they're hard working. They're doing a good thing. Yeah. I hope that. I, hope I don't quite successful. understand how it works, but I'll be interested to see what happens. Yeah, my understanding of how it works is they stop with the coins, so I think that was a good thing. Um, is you just go stand out there, you put a flag whichever way you want to go towards the Waterbury or towards Montpelier out here. And um, if somebody wants to give you a ride, they meet you by the end of the porch and you hop in and you go and you can buy them a coffee or whatever you want to do. It's basically carpooling. Um, you know, one step up from or hitchhiking. hitchhiking. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's just hitchhiking with a cover. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, I think it's a good thing, and uh, the more we can eliminate people just driving single single vehicles, the better it is. Sure. Um, so there's that. Um, First, you've already got a parking problem, so if a lot of people start leaving their cars there and hitching posts oh, here no, and there, no, that's not going to be a good idea. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, the that's the opposite of what we want to have. have. Right. Well, that's yeah. what I'm concerned about. Yeah. No, we we have that concern too. And at for, when we first um, purchased a property, I think there were some people that were doing that. It doesn't seem to be the case now. You know, sort of parking there and then carpooling to somewhere, um, but. Uh, we sort of started paying better attention to it. We didn't do anything onerous or actually talk to anybody but the tenants to say, hey, let's, you know, we got to look out for, it, it's, it's your parking space they're parking in. So, you know, you might want to um, deal with that. So we have about, believe it or not, um, we have about 100 parking spaces. Um, which is well more than the ordinance calls for, but it's you know it's, it's a popular place. Yeah, but you don't want to be park and ride too. No, I don't want to be park and ride too. I mean, you know, uh, forgive me. A lot me of those ride. are probably bikers that are going off to bike. Yeah. Because I know on Sunday they park here. What the bikers, bicycles? Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's great. Um, we put out some uh, bike racks just to invite them so that they'd know that they we want to have them stop there and. 
just they can hang, they're, they're right out front. Um, so, yeah. So can you send us the information? Can someone send yes. us the information yes. about the grant? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Paul will remind me yes. to send you the information. Okay. I'll, I can get the right. information. I yeah. will talk about it later. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So, so then I thought we would just have a quick little slideshow, uh, a little history, um, and some rough ideas for plans that we want to do going forward. Is uh, we'd like to get another anchor tenant type <laughs> along the lines of a red hen. Um, and we're working with some people who uh, want to come there, um, are uh, literal from farm to retail and wholesaler uh, maker, which I, th which I think would be great. Um, they're in their livable jobs, sustainable, regenerative agriculture, all that kind of jazz. So we're looking at um, building a building that would be able to house them. We still have to quite finish you know, the finals of the deal, but we've been talking for about six months. So um, we're hopeful that we'll be able to come about. So we've got some site plans um, that we want to do a building, uh, octagonal type building in the back corner of the, beyond where mud is. Yeah. Sort of sort of making the green space become a campus over time so that it's a hub, it always stays a green hub um, and expounding on that. And another um, short term harebrained idea, we'll see if it, we can actually make it come off is, um, you know, when Blittersdorf, David Blittersdorf bought those train cars and put them in Barry, we thought, well, you know, we back right up to the train tracks. It would be great to have a train station here. So I, the leap from here to a train station is somewhat substantial. But in the short term, the leap to find somebody that maybe wanted to operate a little sort of diner pub in a old rail car might not be that hard to get to. Um, and if we could find the right person, we could pick a rail car off the tracks and set it right down on the uh, north end of the property and or the gas station property and make, you know bring some life to that. So we've got a little slide to show. What do you call the whole complex be. now that you own the gas station? Camp Mead. You call the whole thing Camp Mead. Yeah. I know Susan was the one who assisted on that name. Right? Yeah, we just call it Camp Mead. We just think that uh, all the values of Camp Mead are good. Yeah. And uh, the values as we understand them from the CCC camp and, and growing community, is, that's really what we want to do. We, we really want to try and be good citizens, good corporate citizens um, as we grow along. So this slide is, um, shows the property <coughs> that we presently own, um, which is Camp Mead, the White House, and the, uh, what we call the White House, the Ranch House and um, so uh, it's a gas station yeah. uh, across the way. Um, we, uh, and this slide shows uh, some of the changes that we've made um, in the last you, year. You own to the red, so there's that whole area yeah, we behind own the, the... we own the red, yeah. Behind the White House, and that's, yes. is that like cliff and you can't do anything with it? Uh, the, you mean, what's the property line, the Well, geography? from the green, which I'm assuming is tree line. Or, yeah. or is that? Uh, that's, yeah, that's. It starts to slope off there. On the. But part of it's open, is, you know, that you don't right have Right here it slopes. Yep, and over, right over the towards. Villages, the Vietnamese village used to be. Down below there. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then coming this other way, Paul. Uh, yeah, right there it's, it starts to slope down. Um, but you don't own that. There. We don't own that. Yeah, no. So we, w we want to put a building on the corner of the horseshoe. Yeah, right in there. Right there. Right, right around in there. Um, so in this last year, Red Hen grew. Um, we put an addition on the uh, back to basically remove their offices and their break room in order to allow their kitchen, which was just sort of all intertwined into the bakery. We originally designed and built a bakery. Um, the cafe kitchen was sort of 
obstructing the get bakery and, and now all of the break room and, and all of that is a kitchen and dishwashing area and so they function a lot more efficiently um, but they just reconfigured it themselves yeah is that right yes yeah the, we have to take it apart in order to put it back together um, but um, we've done that in conjunction with Randy and uh, and Liza <coughs> Um, so you want to skip that? Oh, and we also built the uh, little, the oven, the turtle oven yeah, for the good. bread festival, yep. which is right on there. Um, the little turtle oven? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all relative. Uh, you Did know. you rebuild the house that's back there that Jackie used to live in at one point? We haven't built, rebuilt any That's right here. Oh, that there, yes. Oh, that's oh right. that When thing. I was there on Sunday, it looked like it had been rebuilt. And I um, said, hey, boy, I've never looked at that really before. Yeah, it was, um, you can jump in whenever you want, Mike. But yeah, we, we just put some insulation and painting and, you know, yeah. made it so we made it a real cover. building. Yeah, so we could actually yeah. have meetings and stuff in there. You can but, actually but that guy, how is he's not doing his um, stuff out of there anymore? No, no. No, um, part of it is, um, there's two little office rooms in there now. Um, part of it is storage for Red Hen, um, and part of it we have room for a table and, you know, a bunch of stuff. It's not that neat. But when we first looked at the property, Alan and Mike and I opened the door, <laughs> and we didn't go very far in. Um, oh, yeah. And then, I mean, it was, you know, tough. It was a band rehearsal space um, with all the... Uh, trash that goes along with that. Um, so we just made it so that we can turn the heat on in there and not be heating, you know, you the entire the universe. Um, so yeah, that, that's what that is. Paul, you can go ahead. Uh, this is just sort of a 3D kind of modeling that we do for ourselves and to sort of look at the same thing as 2D. Um, there. Are you turning the White House into an art museum? Uh, not a museum. We're, we're doing a sort of a little pop-up right now with, and to see what happens um, and have made it available to a, a bunch of local artists to sell their, put their wares in there and uh, sell it now in the sort of run up to the holidays and see if they can make a little bit of money. Because you're putting more and more stuff on the lawn. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to make that a little more attractive. It just seems so desolate and barren mm -hmm. we're trying to bring some life and energy to it so mm -hmm. put the hug sign and yeah, a I few know. other things to make it interesting the and red thing is, isn't that a recent addition the red and well the, the red thing was, uh, yeah tail yeah <laughs> i don't know what it is yeah, yeah plane crashed there yeah, yeah. yeah. months yeah. all that's left that's yeah, all that's yeah, left, that's all left. <laughs> okay uh, gotcha. we're thinking we're going to paint iran out of gas on it <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, so we're um, wanting to make it available to artists and we'll take like a 20% percentage from them and if they can make a go of it, great, because I think to have more art in the community would be, would be, would be good, would be, you know, more vital. Good draw. Yeah, and also it's, it's, it's more vital and more contributive to the social fabric than I'm just having somebody live there, not that having somebody live there is a bad idea, it's a good idea, but um, we're trying to bring more energy, so yeah, the answer to your question is, yeah, we're doing a couple month experiment and we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, and yeah. You know, we really want to tie our campus in to include the White House, you know. Right. And a um, good well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the oh. real reason. Yeah, our water's over there. Um, these are streetscape, uh, streetscape that you're very familiar with. Um, this is, whoops, where'd we go? Wow. Okay, here we go. Um, I think we showed you this before, but this, we did a rough uh, streetscape along the Route 2 corridor right. um, of uh, sidewalk, Park. plantings, um, parallel parking, all that kind of jazz. And just an update, um, uh, I, I worked with Julie Beth Hines for years, and she's uh, our consultant, because um, she's really good at what she does. And she's had um, some conversations with the folks at AOT, and they're pretty keen um, to see this type of plan 
progress and you know go to the next step you guys can apply for the, uh, a larger um, planning grant but the um, understanding that I have from Julie Beth is that um, they can see see you getting another grant and, and uh, did you get the grant this year? Or not AOT. This is state with, the, with, the the, no, with the with the planning no with the planning grant. grant yeah we got that planning grant we right. got a small one right yeah okay. right so I I know the she was talking to the present head of AOT who plans on staying there for the next you know decade if at all possible. And he's on board with these things, um, looks forward to the next application for getting real planning um, and design money and seeing, and these are his, his uh, numbers, being able to construct um, a streetscape down through there in 2026, which would mean, you know, 2020, 20, 20, 21, 22 would be planning and, you know, the town, all of that kind of jazz. I believe they have about two million bucks um, that they could devote to this. So depending on what the um, town would want to have, there'd be a town match um, that would ne be need to be had. I think they're generally about 10%. Um, and we would, of course, be interested in participating in some way um, to make it happen. Because I think it will make your village, you know, more of a village. Um, uh, and I'll keep digressing for a second. One of, one of the things that I had thought about, and this is just my opinion, so you can take it for whatever it's worth, is, um, you know, being part of a TIF district would be good for you guys um, because then you could keep the uh, tax revenue from any, any property taxes inside that TIF district, which would be where you could get your match um, for infrastructure and those kinds of things. And it might be worth, you know, looking at um, what the boundaries of your TIF district might be. It might want to include Welch and those properties up there as well. But, you know, the all oh, with is, you know, is it is a pilot with the um, archives and uh, payment in lieu of taxes and state police and those things. Do mm -hmm. they make any contribution at all? Smaller, Pretty smaller. Smaller. So it's a yeah. it's a non-payment in lieu of tax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's like everywhere else they go. Yeah. They pay, they pay right. a small percentage of what they would pay if they were right. paying the real taxes. Well, right. It's but it's like seventeen thousand, right. something like that. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Just wondering. What is a TIF district? I forget all my initials. Tax financing. Yeah. And it's what it does tax is it increment finance. Yes. What it does is it allows you to keep. Um, a percentage of the education tax, property tax, that would otherwise go to the state that you then can reinvest in the town on infrastructure projects, your match for a sidewalk or whatever it would be. Um, and then other buildings that get built within that district fall in, in that same place. So anything that we would propose to do would become, aside from I think hopefully being good for the town, would also be would generate revenue for you on the tax side. Um, and then another thought uh, is, as you look at your zoning... Um, and Which is this year. What's that? The rewrite of the zoning is scheduled yeah. to be this so, year. Yeah, so. we're going to start talking with the Planning Commission and saying some things that we think, but again, um, this is just me, you know, sort of looking at it with my own planning, planning mind on this. I think it might be a good idea to extend the, this district up to the intersection of the center road so that the standards that are in the village district go all the way up to there. Because I can see at some point in the future somebody wanting to do a, develop some kind of a building at the T. And you might want... There's much... No, but... There's going to be much of a building. Well, you, you know, uh, people say things are hard to develop, but then you go and I, I know of houses in Montpelier that are five stories on one side and a story and a half on the other. Oh, I know. You know, in San yeah. Francisco, you know, all that kind of jazz. Um, I'm just looking ahead thinking that when people get off the interstate, your invitation to the town might want to be a piece of architecture that's more than just a... Park and ride. Yeah, or a 
a, a glorified gas or electric station, whatever they're going to be, um, convenience store that's only one story. So <coughs> that's that's what I'm thinking about when I make those kind of thoughts. And then we have a few other things that we want to talk to the Planning Commission about. I think some changes that we might want to see that would be helpful for us. And I think anybody in the district, quite frankly, but um, to and whether you want to use form-based zoning or something else, it doesn't just say you can go up to this height, you know, all the way across the whole entire district, but a way to um, look at things in modulation. But it would be helpful to be able to go another 10 feet beyond 35, which is pretty much sort of a residential standard. Um, that building that you we want to in do. You mean in the business district? In the, yeah. Yeah, in wherever you would... In any of these places, I think what we want to do is not see buildings that just conform to, that there, there's a combination of how you view massing against other massing. Um, and, and maybe you want to have some standards that have to do with flat roofs or not flat roofs and, you know, all of that kind of, all of those kinds of things for the Planning Commission to think about. Um, <coughs> Yeah, the goal is when people drive through Middlesex, it's something of beauty rather than... Well, it's interesting. Interesting, yeah. And, yeah. and, you know, so people want right. to move into town, businesses want to, you know, move their business there, and, you know, people want to hang out. Yeah, and one of the things, <clears throat> when I was on the board in, in Waitsfield, we looked at um, what the zoning was that we had, and then we looked at um, the old village, and we said, well, we can't even build that village today because it doesn't meet any of the zoning standards, it's too close to the road and all that stuff, but that's the part that everybody says they like the best. So it caused us to rethink how we wrote our ordinance so that some a village could be built back, just like some of your, your houses are really close to the road, and that's not the worst thing. On the, on the side um, where the gas station used to be, mm -hmm. does it go all the way to the interstate? No. Uh, you want to blow that up a little bit? Let me go back. No, I, you, you had it on the, on the one that was there. It goes so, up. Yeah, you can see where it goes to. It stops right here. Just just before. So it, all this is V tram. State. Yeah. State. So so this is actually. It's just about yeah. what about 50, right. 50, 20 feet beyond the entrance to go down to the Scribner House. On the uh, other no, side of the road. Further. It's further. It's further. probably. Yeah. 50, 50, or, yeah. 50 or 80 feet beyond that, something mm. like that, um, up alongside the road. Um, Thanks. It's not wildly valuable as far as, you know, egress to the road or anything like that, right. but that's okay. Um, so do you want to skip ahead to, uh, there we go, so that'd be where we'd want to do... Um, a building back in there. You want to skip the next one, Paul? And also the train car oh, on yeah. the other side of the road. Right. On the other, you want to go back backwards. And then down here in the little... So it's train right there. That'd be, you know, it's the, it's, whether we can pull that off, I don't know, but, um, you know, putting a little train car down there. So like, That'll be the new stockyard. I was just yeah. going to say yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, if there's one a thing... Few, uh, libations in that old... Yeah. 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 One thing we've heard <laughs> consistently is, can something be open after six? <laughs> can I have a beer? Um, yeah. And I think that's important, you know, that, that we do have those kinds of things where people can get together. The other thing so, is a way to, uh, to add, like, say, a restaurant or a pub without disrupting anybody else's business, you right. know, without shutting them down and tearing down the building. So that's sort of a... a rough rendering for what we're thinking might be able to go in the back there um, would be uh, why the tears why what why do you have it tiered like that um so that it steps in a little bit well, and doesn't that, seem but... too sheer um so that we can have a uh, sort of your retail red hen kind of level see you know see things being made and whatnot then some offices or something like that, um, a meeting place, 
um, where you know we want to continue sort of camp meet talks and have people talk about interesting things. Does that right now, the way you show it, uh, assume the increase in elevation variance that you were talking about? Yes, it does. Yeah. Um, we, in order to get that, we would need that um, change in the zoning. Yes. Um, and then the third floor could either be residence or a restaurant, something like that, um, yes. which would give us a, And then there's the pub idea. Um, so these are things that we're thinking about. And instead of, you know, I've been on your side long enough to know, you know, resting our cards is not really what we want to do. It's not how we want to do businesses. We want to sort of have a conversation about what it is that we see in ways that we think we can bring new life to there and, and how we can do this together. Well, the most the most direct thing in the short term is getting involved in the rewriting of zoning regulations. Yeah. yeah. So we'll go to the Planning Commission, but yeah. your meeting was first. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, we appreciate that. <laughs> we appreciate that. Um, and well, it's and, exciting. Yeah. I mean, just yeah. just the event. You know, we get we had a little conversation about parking when you had the mm -hmm. when you had the bread fest, and yeah. uh, you know, we have we have concerns about that. We want to work with you guys yeah. to to help resolve that, so you continue to have right. community events there. Right. It's, uh, great to have all those events. It's great. It's yeah. Great for the great for everybody. Yeah. We, so. And we don't want to have too many. You know, we don't want to be a big venue of things, but we want to do things that are sort of exclamation points like that. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I think on the one hand, oh, big pain in the butt, you know, uh, traffic, you know, there was cars parked everywhere. Safe, life safety is the thing that's most important, I think, to Correct. all of us. That's the thing that is our biggest concern. But that was traffic calming in its extreme. I'll say. Pe but it works. <laughs> it I mean, the interesting thing yeah. is that People were coming down off the interstate, stopping and letting pedestrians cross the street because there was enough action going on that it slowed the traffic down. So yeah. we're not saying that we should tro slow the traffic down to 15 miles an hour every day, all day long, but um, that, that's, a, that's, I think, the value of having a real proper streetscape and, and um, I agree. Traffic, traffic plan. So. That's that's what we're looking for there, and I think it'd be really good if you could come up and do that on East Hill, yeah. right, Bill? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 See, we slide down our back road. Yeah. Anything you want to add, Mike? There's a lot of people flying down a lot of our roads. I think we should uh, the let them know about the, the other property. Oh yes. Oh yeah, two other things. Um, we have entered into a. Purchase and sales with the LeCounts. Um, oh, wait, I'm sorry, who? The LeCount house. Right, the property. Blue yep. house to the yep. Oh, the one with all the flowers? Yeah, that one there. Yeah. And it, it's a defensive move on our part. Um, we don't really want to spend the money and buy it, quite frankly. But um, but we don't want to see like a dollar store or whatever go in. You know? right. So we have no plans for it. Right. Other Were than, they selling it? Yes. yes. We have no plans for it other than to make sure that it kind of doesn't go into some sort of weird thing that disrupts the rest of the flow of the town and stuff. Yeah, because your zoning right now is not a good enough defense. Um, so a Dollar General could buy it and go in there under our yes. current zoning? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and we would rather not see that. So how many acres are in the LeCount property? Five and a half. So that would stay a residence? Uh, in the short term, it's a, it, I think what makes sense there is what it once was, which it was a store on the first floor and an apartment on the second floor. And that apartment is still there. <laughs> um, you know, and the kids, the, the, the heirs, um, each of them, so, you know, we've spent some time with them in the last little bit. What they went away and then they came back and each one of them came and they stayed there with their future spouses um, in the apartment upstairs. It's sort of a nice story. Um, and one of the things that we would want to do and that we've talked that we talk with them about is wanting to, you know, give a good nod to their ownership of the property. And, How long um, have they been there? Fifty years. Wow. 
They, I mean, they grew up there. Yeah. Yeah. So we were reluctant to even talk about it because you know nobody wants to be ghoulish and all that kind of stuff, but other people were. So. Yeah. Um, Do that. Hopefully, we'll put the whole finish putting the whole deal together by the first of the year, or shortly after the first of the year. And, then we'll figure out what to do. But I could see that being what it once was, you know, when the village was vibrant, you know, uh, a long time ago, and maybe it's a little general store or, or some kind of store, you know, well, on the first now floor. The and is there and stuff. What's that? Well, now you need a little store where you can go and pick up odds and ends. Now, yeah. the, now the Roots is... Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're perfect. They're, they're, they're great. And it's great to have that youthful farm hard working you know days just not long enough energy um, <laughs> they want to do there. this what's that they want to stay and do this kind of stuff the roots the roots uh, people no no i'm not talking about the roots people i'm talking about i thought you were talking about the lacount no 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 no, 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 no. Oh, i'm talking about the roots people oh yeah right um, yeah they're, they're, that's they're true. awesome they're all revved up i can tell yeah. you that yeah, yeah they, they are, are revved up yeah and um, i just hope I just hope there's enough business in the wintertime. Yeah. It makes me a little That's, nervous. Yes, yeah. it is nervous. Yeah. Hope they do. hope that it'll work for them. You know, they seem to be pretty smart and attentive to, um, you know, what's going on around them. You know, successful restaurateurs and retailers hear what people don't say, you know, out loud and figure out how to yeah. meet that need. And, and they, they, seem, they seem to be aware, you know, so I'm hopeful. We we're all better off having them oh. there, you know. Oh. And, you know. Another interesting yeah. thing about this property is it backs up to a, uh, a plot owned by Green Mountain Power, so they have access to go in and, and do repairs on the dam. Yeah, on, the, on that side of the river. So, you know, I can see potential for some sort of bike path or p walking pathway from Church Street all the way over to, you know, Red Hen and kind of avoid that. That curve there for uh, a lot of bicycles mm -hmm. and pedestrians. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. That solved that, one of the problems you had the last time you talked to us. Yeah. That pathway. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That's right. Right. But yeah, I mean, a, a river walk could happen with the if, mm -hmm. if enough other landowners are interested and happy with that. You know, you can come right to there, and and the streetscape will solve the you know the pinch points um, of your of your curves and, and that kind of stuff. Well, guys, we we appreciate the the update, and, uh, you know, I think we've been pretty supportive so far, as oh, supportive yeah, as we right. can be, and I, right. and I anticipate that'll continue. I mean, we're excited right. about this. I mean, uh, yeah. I, my yeah. question to you is, you don't even live in Middlesex, so what made you so excited about this property, Russ? <laughs> um, you know, I designed and uh, I had a lot of breakfast there. Uh, well, I knew uh, <laughs> you were pretty. You were around a lot. All right. Um, I designed and built the bakery for um, Randy and Liza and for the Wexlers um, when that <laughs> happened, and I could see, you know, that people were just driving through and not seeing um, how how great this place could be, um, and I'm at a you know, we get to be a time in our lives when, uh, you know, it'd be nice if there was another, you know, 70 years in the hourglass, but I don't think there are. <coughs> so um, it'd be nice, to, it's nice to do this kind, it's a passion project. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Good. You know, that's great. Uh, that's what well, it is. We appreciate your passion. Thank you very we're, much. We're glad to be here. Thank you for yeah, your services. The Thank right. you. <laughs> we're the beneficiaries of it. Right. Okay. okay, Highway Department. My way department. Oh, we're excited now. Oh, good. <laughs> so, uh oh, I better pay attention. That would be good. So we're looking at. So we're we're looking at the public works, and if you go to, I don't know. Yeah, it's on starts they, on they have the a, second page. Yep. With winter maintenance. With starts with winter maintenance, but I'm just going to bring you down to the bottom line first. No. <laughs> <laughs> very, very bottom. Yeah. Subtotal? Yeah, and it's on page three. Well, I had a feeling, yeah. Yeah. 
So that bottom line is that uh, what we're presenting in our preliminary budget is, uh, and that's without the debt service here. Right, it is on the next That's page. on the debt service on the next page. But without that debt service, we're presenting a budget that's 12.68%. Uh, Increase. You've been talking Increase. to the school directors again, haven't you? Yeah. So <clears throat> in that, I, because of that, I just want to bring your attention to one thing and just if you could just hold any questions let me go through this uh, real quick and then we can go back line by line Sounds good. Uh, okay. but because of the fact that that when we do so much for the mud mitigation our road construction and our general maintenance suffers and and right now we're still trying to do in a catch-up mode so what Paul and I did is we created one other category. We just called it special services. And what we're presenting in this budget is one month with hiring trucks, hiring one person to run an excavator, and renting that excavator for one month. That amount is 40 grand. So that's a big chunk of this increase. So with that, um, just just to explain that, um, let's we can go back to the second page and and that's really mud mitigation. That's that's no. more summer maintenance that's, ditching. Okay. It's all right. summer maintenance okay, ditching. Gotcha. It's yeah. not right. no not the mud mitigation. The, the general summer things just, that we would just, typically do if we weren't so behind. Yep. Ditching <clears throat> cutting. No, mostly just di this mostly particular just is just ditching. ditching. This yeah. is strictly right, ditching. We were supposed to hold our questions, yes. but I just wanted to so sentences. So. But you started it. <laughs> I know because I just wanted right. to summarize it mentally. Now just look at the page. Yeah, now I will. All right, so we go to the public works. Start off the winter maintenance. Um, Paul, you want to take over? Yeah, I'm happy to. Wherever go you want to know if you were going to. No, nope. okay, nope. just. Um, what we did was we we took our actual road solid you know like we we typically try and make sure that we're reflecting our actual usages and factoring up uh, you know an increase naturally every year from vendors um, we ended up slightly higher than last year i won't go into too much detail on that but you can see the breakdown of it um, summer maintenance we, we're actually expecting a, a 10 percent increase in chloride the per gallon price with our increased usage just with the amount of grading that we're doing, that that was a, a pretty good size contributor. Um, the other part of that, the, the bigger parts that you'll notice, the, the larger increases are the stone ditch lining. And what that is is just because of our uh, the Clean Water Act uh, that we're having to abide by, we're having to do a lot more stone lining on these on these um, uh, steeper roads that are, are that we're going to talking gonna, about like what we saw on McCullough Road. What we're doing on McCullough Road Center Road, you know, from right from up. the farm on up. Yeah. Any, basically, what it ends up being is anything over five percent, um, over seven percent, has has to be stone lined according to the water quality uh, initiative. That's the seven percent grade, right? Seven yes. percent, correct. Yep. Um, so that's a big part of that, uh, and. <clears throat> The road gravel you see has went up, but that's that's actually more uh, reflective of the way we're trying to present the budget. So you'll see in in construction uh, in the construction section that that's actually gone down, and, and we've actually just more moved it over here on the summer maintenance aspect. Um, the other the other big part of this is uh, the roadside mowing. Um, our roadside mower, as, as we discussed, our contractor is no longer in business anymore. Um, and, and he used to do the majority of the towns in our area. So we've, Steve and I have talked a lot, um, and we really feel like we're getting to the point where for, for a little bit more than the cost of what we're doing every year, we, we can own our own, do our own, and, and be more effective with our brush, which is... One of the big contributors of, of why we're getting so behind on things, roadside brush. You want to jump in? Sure. That that roadside um, mowing that we've got there, the figure that we put in there, is a figure from um, a company that sells these mowers, and that's the price of what it would cost for seven years, and then you own the mower. Correct. It's a seven-year payment. And... and <clears throat> We didn't go any further than that. I'm, I, I think, 
that if if the town were to get a loan for the mower, it could be substantially less. Yeah. Than that. Because yeah. you'd have no expense the first year. Because right. I mean, well, so anyway, we you just get the free year. But this is a this is a boom mower similar to what uh, it almost almost, almost replicated to what we've rented. So the only question I have about that is, though, you're going to put a guy on the boom mower. Right. How do we get the rest of our work done when he's right. cruising around we're on the boom mower? We're supposed to let him talk and then well, we the, So, so well, the catch with no, that, Peter, is where, you know, we, if, if all goes right with, with the specialized services that we're going to have, it, it more or less takes that grader operator when he comes off of some, you know, spring grading. He would go into that and, and transfer back and forth because we've only got so much equipment in trucks anyway. Yeah. Where he would be doing other things and filling in, especially with vacations yeah. and things like that. Yeah. We would we would kind of restructure the way that we do our summertime maintenance if this worked out. Would like you that. still do four days a week, or would you go back to five? Or? It's still forty hours. You can't you can't do any more. No, no, I'm not saying. Yeah, so, yeah, but I mean, when you like. We'd we'll probably stay the four days. Yeah, you yeah. Like the longer time. At, well, I, I think a big big thing is. I mean, we've talked about it a lot, always. Um, it's a big benefit for the guys. It's a I benefit mean, for the especially guys. Especially after working seven days a week Christmas, Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a big benefit to them. It really is. Um, going forward from there, um, and obviously we have the stormwater discharge fee uh, from the state. Um, so, so at the end of that, it, it ended up being over 50% in, almost 51% increase there. Um, Steve touched on the specialized services. I don't know if we want to. It, are there questions about that? Yeah, I want to know more about it. So, so it what we did, up. Mary, is we we're looking at where we're at, uh, the condition of the town, and, and and this all stems back to basically the the wheel turning forward, but but the progress going backwards because of the storms we're getting. We 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 started May fourteenth. We we got that, or May nineteenth. We got that storm on August. August 1st, September 1st, I'm sorry, we started on where we left off the day of that storm. It took that long for our, our crew, even after Dubois taking care of Macy Road, to recover and put everything back together. That's, that's how significant that is. Um, so by doing this, what we're going to do is rent, rent an excavator for a month, a high, hire a guy for a month and two triaxle trucks, and, and just a one-time fee for this, try and get us back to where we really need to be because some of our main roads, Center Road, East Hill, Cover Hill, uh, they're lacking so badly on ditching now and it's and it's very it's very general work that needs to be done but it still has to be done. Um, and we, we really, we feel strongly enough and we wouldn't put it in here if we didn't think we needed it uh, to, to try and get, get caught up on some of this stuff. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Paul. What three, what three roads are you talking about? I'm not. No. No, I'm not talking roads. Okay. I'm not talking roads. Really. Just examples. Okay. As examples. Thank you. Um, so that's that's what we would look to do with that. Um, and the only thing that that our crew would be responsible for on that is basically making sure they they have somewhere to dump on a daily basis, and um, and and we'd go back and hydro seat because we've got the equipment them. to do it. But but they would just be daily progress. That's all they would focus on. So is, then mostly is feet. they'd be t talking about ditching. Di that's all they would be doing is ditching. That's what we're talking about. Yep. Yep. Um, any more on that? Mm -hmm. uh, if, then jump to equipment maintenance. Um, we are actually going down a bit on equipment maintenance, even though that that seems backwards from what <laughs> what we've been doing. Um, the truck now is is essentially going to, I mean, have a two-year warranty on all the major components of it, um, and also we'll we'll we're, be. Go ahead. We're we're he was holding, we're going to go for that third year. I figured. <laughs> well, the concept the concept is so this this is the this is the truck we've we've been rebuilding in installments. Mm -hmm. So if we can get, uh, uh, We've got a two-year guarantee on all those parts. That's the new engine, the transmission, the rear end. We're planning to keep that truck for two more years for a relatively small amount of money. It's what, $900, $1,000 to extend the engine for another year? I, I thought I'm it was two. Two what? 2000 I may be wrong, but I was thinking that's what it was. I was thinking it was too. Uh, anyway, for for a relatively small amount of money, 
we can we can extend that two year warranty for three years, and the plan then would be keep that truck for a third year. We've rebuilt the thing from from one end to the other. And keep we your fingers can't crossed, but we have well, we have we'd have a warranty. So yeah. if that if that brand new engine blows up in eighteen months, it it's covered. Excuse me. So Which anyway, truck is that's, this? that's the concept. Two thousand fourteen Western Star. 2014 Western. This is the one the, yep. the engine the just one. went in, right? Yeah. Yes. It's the one where everything's gone wrong. Yes. And, exactly. and so we opted to put a brand new engine in it. They, I'll explain briefly, but they're they're doing. They did not have a full complete engine anywhere. Okay. In the inventory anywhere, so they took the three quarter block, and they'll all of the oil associated parts with that. They'd normally take off an hour engine, but because of the circumstances, they're buying all of those parts new, so everything is covered under the warranty. So it's basically a brand new engine, full okay. engine, built by uh, the repair shop. Okay. Hmm. And the other big contributor with that is um, this, this, this current year that we're in, uh, we budgeted to have the undercarriage, all the running gear on the excavator rebuilt because our excavator is in good shape, but that needs to be replaced. So that was a one-time, one one budget season thing that we're currently in that is not now reflected in this. So that sixty-five hundred dollars is is actually out of this at this and point. And is that why there's a reduction? That's why. That's a big big factor of why yep. there is because there's a sixty-five hundred dollar line item in that or sub line item. That's no longer there. Yep. When would we have to enter into the agreement for the new, the extended warranty? Right now? I mean, in this budget calendar? Or yes. Yes. Yeah. So it would go into, so that should probably go back into the equipment maintenance then. If, there's, if it's $2,000, that's a relatively big number. If it was, yep. you know, yep. that right. really yeah. should go in back. Here. If in that's this. when, if yeah. that's the year we have to enter into that agreement, yeah. or then we should make a note. I can call them and figure out when, when we need to. I'm pretty sure we're going to need to do it when we take yeah, the, we set the truck back. When so take. that would be then. That's the well, operate. Would, it wouldn't be in the budget year 21. It's in the no, current, no, current year. No, but it year, doesn't. So. Yeah. That's. I was trying to figure out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're going to have the cost of that engine. There also, I mean, that can be just lumped right with that engine, why right? Not? Right, but it's going to be in our current. It's going to be in our current year. That's yes. what I'm yes. trying to yes. get at. Yes. So, okay. Yes. That's it all I want to know. It will be. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's equipment maintenance. Uh, going down to garage maintenance. Obviously, we you know we got the report um, from DeWolf. We so we figured out that we we would not be doing anything. In regards to insulation to the to the current uh, town shed, um, we did did figure out that that our propane usage was was up further than where we thought it was. Dorinda helped us with Dorinda. Getting, yep, getting some of these. Yep, some of these actual figures. Actual figures. Yep, um, did that. Um, we're also we'd, we'd like to put a little bit of money in there to um, now that we got our new fuel tank, we'd like to put a roof on that. Just a small shed style roof to protect that tank keep it out of the weather um, so there's there's a little bit of money in there for that as well which is which is why there's such a shows such a big increase in fuel tank maintenance but ends up being seven hundred dollars more so mm -hmm. um, and then as well as you utilities um, we, we used our actuals from from this past year um, and, and move forward with that just just tried to be reflective of those <clears throat> Uh, gas and diesel. Obviously, we're you know we're we're doing more work. We we've, we've got more equipment um, in our actual usage, and and the slight increase in fuel was was up as well. So we tried to be more reflective on that as well. There's some increase there. I won't go into wages and benefits. We're proposing a two percent increase in wages. I plucked in the two percent <clears throat> and that some things like. Um, we haven't confirmed. The health insurance is a confirmed number. Um, retirement is, I think we're still waiting on um, any of the insurances, property casualty, workers' comp, I haven't gotten those numbers back yet. Um, 
So we should those, get those before we have to finalize this we budget, though. Right? We'll yeah. get them in, just, we'll we get them in like December. In December, I think, yeah, something right. like that. But those are just, so all I did on the insurances is I level funded them for now, but there could be a potential difference there. Uh, Dorinda, what was the increase on health insurance this year? 13.33. Or 12.33, maybe okay. something like that. It was it was definitely <laughs> double digit. Yeah, yeah. Good news is unemployment's down 300 bucks. So well, there you go. Made up for it there. Yeah. <laughs> um, jumping down into into the, the lower items, culverts. Um, that's a little bit lower. Steve and I have a, a, a amount of feet of culvert that we'd like to purchase to to try and install. So. As opposed to the twenty thousand, we would typically buy, and that that a lot of years would fluctuate. Um, we're we're just going to purchase them ahead of time and have those culverts on hand and hope to do those signs. We're we're going to uh, remain unchanged. Same with the bridge fund and paving fund. The construction budget's going to change a little bit. Um, you'll see that gravel is ends up being the same. Um, ditch stone, I believe, remain the same. The hydro seeding, which now we we've been using it, and just to brief everyone on that, we've had really good success with the hydro seeder that we bought last year. We're getting good turnaround with with germination. People are commenting on it, and, and it's significantly less um, involved than than trying to do mulch hay and, and mm -hmm. buy you know buy hay from the peas farm, who have always been great. But then we have to store it and moldy. I won't. Yeah, it, it's it's a lot more involved. Um, Ledge removal, we, in the past, we've, we've done it. Last year, we didn't get to do it, but there's a lot of places that we really need to do it. And uh, they're right in the ditches. Yeah, and, and it's important because a lot of these areas are, are what's causing some of our erosion issues because the, the water is, is cutting into the road because it won't cut into the ledge. Um, in mud season mitigation, I think that might have gone up a little bit, mm. but it's hard to, yeah. I, yeah, hard to tell. So overall, construction has has gone up some as so well. So are these new line items? Or They're these not. No. We no. we always had them, but our, our construction budget was what? always one okay, single line item. Okay, so you're adding item. this so we understand. Uh, yes, you really right. only because see the one but one used, item. We used to do this <clears throat> right yeah. here, and that's how Paul and I started, and then we spent some time trying to put it into this so that it matches. Everything. Yeah. So it should match the financials. Should Correct. match yeah. the financials and. So and as we, you know, each year we're always trying to make sure things are are more transparent and clearer and all of that. So. Um, trying to think. So we would under construction just see the final item of twenty three. Correct. Five, right. Correct. Gotcha. And up above where it says construction, that's what we budgeted twenty thousand, like yeah. in the budget year nineteen twenty. Gotcha. Correct. So it's a 16.25 increase for mm -hmm. the budget year 2021. Because it went to the 23250. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, the small tool purchase, we're actually removing that and moving that. That was another well, part. That went up to garage. It's not, to garage yeah. Reasons. Only, but instead of a small equipment <clears throat> purchase, it's small tool small stuff tools. so that it's, yeah. it's in the garage yeah. maintenance. Yeah. 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 Um, and then equipment purchase, that that we've kind of consolidated what those two would be and, and essentially turned it into equipment purchase. Um, and that and that's small stuff, not not a greater. Let's put let's just no, to be clear. Is like a, you know, this particular thing could be a, a target saw or you know, small compactor, that type yeah. of stuff. But it's not gonna be that uh, thing you wanted to buy for roadside. No. Like, that's too that big. is not. No, that is not. <laughs> Um, and, and then the, the 5,000 on the building. Fund. Yeah, 5,000 on the building fund, and, and that about wraps it up minus the debt service. And debt service is on the next page. Yeah. It's not on that single sheet you have, okay. but um, debt service has actually gone down a little bit mm -hmm. because we retired one of the other um, loans. So the overall highway budget is 11.57% increase. So, 
They're thinking about graders, right? We need to have a new grader. Right. And we're, you know, so we're thinking we would likely get that grader this summer in this budget period, but have a year with no payments. Is that what we're thinking? Historically, it would be yeah, after sure. July 1. Right. Historically. Right. That's but what that I mean. Okay. Yes. In this oh, yes. Yes. Correct. Right. Yeah. That's Doing correct. it exactly as we have done in the past. That's correct. Right. right. Yes. And we're thinking, and we're thinking that is going to be. I, to be honest, I don't know, Peter, we're, because we still have to factor in the trade. The, the, well, the trade, number one, and the plow setup, the wing, but that's yeah. pretty critical. And I'm going to throw in there the roller that I'm gonna gonna really advocate for that that would attach to the that back. would attach to the back of the grader that that towns are all moving, moving towards so it compacts yeah. that compacts the as we grade oh it compacts God. it's just so kind of like the that, old days you don't get that wonderful you don't get that wonderful thunderstorm effect Correct. where yeah where it's yeah. all of a sudden black ice yeah. yeah right yeah um but just just in in big numbers we're thinking about two hundred and fifty thousand, right, or something like I, I that. I would think all of that. Yeah, yeah. Net. And two hundred and fifty is net. Yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want any. In the range. I don't want any quotes. <laughs> I'm not sure that range. No, but I'm yeah. just trying to. Yeah. I'm just trying to think ahead. Yeah. So <clears throat> we would get that this year, but not have a payment this year, and Correct. we would typically finance a greater over what ten years. That I don't know. I think so. I think that. I think that's what we did before. Yeah. yeah, I don't remember yeah. whether it was seven or yeah. ten. That was at least one. That was big trucks or seven. I think the, yeah. yeah, I think the big the, the big loader we did we did ten years. I think. Mm -hmm. Anyway, anyway, yeah. I was trying to. Um, and then that would, if if you push the truck, that would that would offset that. <coughs> you know, that would be a, a little, little following yep. year, you know, yep. after that. So. Yeah. And I don't believe we have any uh, any big replacements other than that. <laughs> Those are two really pretty big ones. They're, yeah, 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 they are. Unfortunately, without the equipment, the, that's that's what mm -hmm. we are is the equipment yeah. <laughs> and and money to to operate them. So, any questions? Happy to answer more. If I, I know I've got to I know I've got to a lot. Digest this a little yeah, bit, I, but <laughs> but um, you know, I think we. I think we all feel the pressure, if that's the right word, and we all feel like the, the last two years we haven't been able to keep up, let alone yeah. let alone get ahead. So, um, a lot of people have been saying to me, "Hey, you know, we got to do something." So, I think this is a good proposal. I like the idea of the of the hiring. I mean, Steve and I talked about this quite a bit. You know, do you do you do you hire a contractor to do this, or do you hire a Hire a one-month employee, rent the ex. I mean, it's going to be a lot less yeah, with that one than if we uh, than if we hired a contractor to do this work. Right. And yeah, it's going to put a burden on you know. Paul's going to have Paul and Steve are going to have some extra supervision to do right. and, and oversight. But um, I think it's I think it's well worth it. And if that works, then that's a good model for us going forward into the future, rather than. Adding a full-time guy to our road crew, yeah. which a lot of the year we don't really need. That's we absolutely. We sure right. use them in the summer. Do, do you see some of the ditching you have in mind as uh, can, being in a way a form of mud mitigation? A huge like, part of it. A, a huge like part. Swampy area down by East Hill. Huge part of it. Center yep. road. A lot of parts on center road. Same mm -hmm. deal, Bill. It's just, and again, the the nice thing with the ditching is it's 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 constant movement. It's like framing a house. That happens fast. Interior work is slow. But when you see the ditching, it happens fast, and there's big payoffs quickly. Water runs where it's supposed to. It's not leaching into the road. So for us, it's the biggest bang for our buck. And we went back and forth with this when we thought about hiring out the mud season stuff. Where that, we didn't feel like it was worth to, to hire that aspect out because it's so detail-oriented. You've got labor. You've got, you run into ledge. You know, there's a lot of variables going into the ground that you don't know about. Where with ditching, it's, it's just, it's movement. It's constant movement. Um, so again, we figured by, by doing it this way, we thought about maybe doing a per foot thing. Do it, by doing it like this, these guys just go and that's all they do. They don't stop at the end of the, you know, at the 30 day mark, 31 day mark, wherever they are, they are. 
but it's every day. It's it's eight ten hours of progress. Yeah, that guy. I mean, I, I watched McCullough Hill every day. Yeah, and, and there's it was dramatic. How yeah, much what progress. when you can make the progress, it's 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 fast. Then you get a storm like we had right before snow. Chuck that out the window. <laughs> After that, can you guys uh, rent out that hydro cedar for a few uh, <laughs> to, to, to yeah. few people willing to pay the price? Yeah. <laughs> We thought we were we were saying that with the mower, believe it. We're getting it. Yeah, times are. Trying so to I just so I just have a couple of specific, but in my mind, general questions. One is, and I believe me, I know all the issues with this, but with all these towns talking about no more Doug grout to do the mowing, right? Uh, is there any opportunity to share the mower with another town? Because unlike. You know, we've talked about in the past about graders and trucks and, and sharing, but the trouble is we all need them at the same time. Yeah, correct. When you need to grade, you need to grade. Whereas the mower, if we really need the mower for two months out of the summer, it seems to me there might be an opportunity to share it with, I don't know, more time. I don't know who. Right. Well, but I think it's I a think conversation that's worth, worth having. We, I think it's at least yeah, worth talking is. about because everybody's in the same boat. And, right. Paul and, and I have talked about And that. there's finally a substantial piece of equipment which... You know, I think we want to be to selective, share. but yes, yeah, we've yeah. talked about that. Yeah, that and an and the other question I have is, so we're going to have, uh, oh, I was just looking at this. Well, we're going to have two hundred thousand dollars on our paving fund with this budget, a little more. So are we are we looking to apply for for grants and thinking we're about? Gonna, we yeah. definitely are. Because that would happen the following summer, not this 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 budget. That would actually because they give you the the entire year to plan for it. Okay. Uh, alter you know b uh, your finances. It'd be the summer of twenty two if we if, 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 if we were successful. Correct. Yeah. Because the road up here is bad, as we all know. Oh, we yeah. can't yeah. we can't let that go too much further. Which road? Center road. Center road. Center road. If it goes much further, we'll just pull the blacktop up and it'll be gravel. Yeah. Right. May not even have to pull it, it up. It's coming up in chunks anyway. It is. It. Oh, you're Roll talking about the paved portion. Yeah, the people, paved portion. People speed even faster though when they go by Steve's house. I'll tell you. I'll I'll tell you guys. If it was up to me, I'd peel up the damn pavement right up. I would. Honest to God, I would. I'd turn it back into a gravel road. But that's just me. Uh, can I just say something? Yeah. Chair. Yes, ma'am. So the great thing about tax season is that people from all over town come in, and I just want to put it on the record that Brent Dolev come in, came in and he said he has never seen in all the time he's lived here. The roads look as good as they do right now, and he thanks Paul and Steve, and he also watches Orca. So yay for you. Great. There you go. Oh, thank you, Brent. Good news is always welcome. Right? Yeah, wait, yeah. <laughs> who said that? Brent? Always. Brent Dolev. He lives on uh, uh, Shady Road. Oh. <clears throat> Uh, we know it's a significant increase, and and I think we've all been together enough that Steve, this is not like Steve and I, but but we are, with the weather being the way it is, we feel strongly enough about this, and we, and we get it. It may not be feasible. We 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 understand that, but um, it, it's tough when you're trying to compete with with storms like that. I mean, it's great we got the money. Yeah, I think we're all we're all pumped about that. Um, that doesn't replace the time spent, unfortunately, and the time lost. How I should say. How much money did you get? It was seventy-two or eight thousand. Yeah, altogether, it's, it's eighty-two thousand. Eighty-two thousand. Mm -hmm. Ten thousand was a grant. Was right. a grant uh, for for Center Road, which yeah. which was good. It was yeah. great. Um, we got a lot of work done done, done that that you know material we didn't have to pay for that needed to be done. Um, the timing wasn't the greatest, but it, it usually never is. So yeah. the money's money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> yeah. And that was for the spring storm. Yeah. That was for yeah. the that was May nineteenth. So that was our that was our overspending correct last year getting reimbursed. Of course, no sooner did we find out three <laughs> days later the or a week later the engine blew up yeah. in the truck, so there you go. But it's nice to get Yeah. I mean what what one of the things that frustrates me about all this is all the stitching is great. It's way more expensive putting this it, stone It's significantly in there. more. Way more expensive. And, you know, I, I hate to be a pessimist, but as those, as those 
nice new stone lined ditches silt in over time as they inevitably will. Mm -hmm. When you got to ditch them the next time, you're going to dig up all that stone and we got to save it and recycle it. And it just the whole process is, is going to be more expensive. So, you know, what irritates me is the state puts all this stormwater stuff on us. And at the same time, do we see any corresponding increase in the state aid to highways? Actually Minimal, if anything. You see, it goes down. It's gone. Yeah. It goes down. Yes. Right. And it's discouraging because it's no different than the mandates at the schools. Yeah, they right. tell us we have to do this stuff, but they don't help us <clears throat> yep. pay for it. Any any other questions? But we have one we, comment. We could eliminate some of the special articles, and it would help our budget out correct. substantially. Absolutely. That's why we can't make it too <laughs> yeah. easy. Dorin is. <laughs> Dorin is well smiling. Said. <laughs> well, that's one of the reasons I think we can't make it too easy for people. I mean, you know, if they want the money, they should have to have people in the town well, to let's, support let's, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For another, yeah. Um, um, if, if you have other questions, later on, don't hesitate to get a hold of Steve and I, please. Well, um, you know, as, as usual, this is the lion's share of our budget. So yeah. everything else everything else is, is peanuts, now. but but this. Yeah. So... Um, I appreciate getting the numbers good and early. I mean, as we get, we're now going to be very close to having some idea of where we're going to be overall, right, Dorinda? There aren't, I mean, there are a few mysteries. There's a few mysteries, but not many. Well, they're not just, many. they're in the insurances and then a couple of small Yeah, and there's a few things we haven't discussed as a general group, which we'll address when they're done. Well, we've got so. some computer right. stuff and some, right. yeah. Exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. So have you, have you prioritized where you could cut it if we asked you to cut it? We'll take it one no, step at a time. No, because let me just say that if, if you said, well, we don't feel we have enough money, we, won't, we don't want to do this uh, special services part, we would actually have to go back and rethink of how we're doing everything. Yeah. So we, may then, we might end up in our budget, if we were to redo our budget, we might end up um, asking for a little bit of that money out of there depending on how we see to do the projects. Well, let's see, we let's see how it goes. You yeah. know, my, my, my thing has been, and I, I think I said this to everybody last year, we have scrimped and saved and scrimped and saved and scrimped and saved. 2% increase, 3% increase. Um, I have concerns about that 2% increase for the, for the wages. That's, that's basically level funding wages. I don't think that's a good idea. So, you know, I want to think about that some more. Um, We've got a lot of stuff to think about, but, you know, the school doesn't hesitate to do this stuff every year, and I'm, I hate to throw them under the bus, but holy mackerel, do they come up with some increases. <laughs> so even though this is a big percentage, it's not a huge amount of money, really, in the big ebb and flow of things. And, you know, we're responsible for taking care of all this stuff, and we need to do it. Well, and the other thing is, these storms are these storms are killing the budget. Yeah. 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 Anybody the who's that, when you're dealing with... The weather changes. It's mm -hmm. devastating budgets and, so, and also planning. For what, it, for what it's worth, I personally, and in all legal conversations with one or other <coughs> member of the budget committee at various times, uh, we have to make a recommendation under the statute to the select board. Our recommendation would be what, what, what I think these guys have proposed, it would be the minimum of what we were expecting. We, 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 we're going to recommend, if, if necessary, bite the bullet for a major increase. Mm -hmm. Just tell the town, using your terms from the last couple of years, can't kick the can, can down the road yeah. anymore. Just yeah. can't do it. Right. And, right. and that would be, and, and it would not be at the uh, expense of the special articles. It would be done because the select board believes this is what has to be done. This is what you got. I think you guys have come up with. Uh, I think I understand what you're trying to do here. This seems very reasonable. And, and I, I would hate to have you spend another minute trying to sharpen your pencil on it. Would be my, I'm not on the select board, but that, that's our job. Oh, you're part of the, right. Well, what it boils down to, Bill, it's not sharpening the pencil, it's, it's eliminating yeah. things. It's right. not, yeah. we can't tighten anything up <laughs> on it. You know, right. these, most of them are operating numbers. numbers. They're, they're, they're actuals. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I'm just suggesting that, uh, from my perspective, uh, to see, I have to go back and try to sure. reduce. Yeah. yeah, this is work that has to be done if people yeah. want to get to work. And yeah. to school. That's where the hub yeah. of how it all happens. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah. And unfortunately, it, the kinds of storms we've been having seem to be the new normal. Yes, you know, it's and, more normal than normal. So that's where yeah. the ditching really yep. comes in, because when these ditches are in place and they're good, these right. storms have been holding up pretty well. Right. Yeah. They, they might have impacts, but, but they're not de they're not total, yeah. you know, total failure right. of, of roads. I mean, we're, right. we're just yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I know the ditch, the stone ditch next to our property on the Molly Soup. Well, that made a huge difference. And yeah. it has not moved. And, since and that's not that. moved since right. we yes, put it in. It's not silted in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Peter, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. So um, Doug Hayes isn't here yet, but Paul is still here. Do you yeah. want to? I do. I, I asked him to send me an email. I haven't received an email from Doug. I just wanted. Let me let me make sure I haven't gotten it because I asked him to text me if he was going to be late. So we all set on the budget. We're not quite. We're just getting ready for the next meeting of the legislature. Oh no, I think we were going to discuss. You're going to discuss. I already know. I saw. We're going to discuss the full budget. I think right. overall. Just for us. Oh. I think that was. We're behind schedule a little bit. We took a little longer than. Initially, yep. but things are getting a little out of hand. But um, I'm just worried about. That. I haven't heard anything. From okay. Me. Just while Paul's here. Okay. Could, yeah, I don't, is I don't. it possible just to? Can we talk? What what is it? What's the concern? What's the well? So he has been after me since the where, spring. Where is Doug? He uh, is up the hill yes. from me, Mary, on the other side of the road. The place the place with the washout culvert. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that closer basic, to town. I'm sorry. It's the one closer to town on the left hand side. Going yeah. up the hill. Yeah. It's been washed out forever. Yeah. It's been yeah. Washed out forever. Okay. Yeah. And. He has been on me over and over and over again, tells me every culvert that the town has replaced all over town, blah, 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 on and on and on. And I've been saying, hey, we do not replace culverts for individual driveways. Mm -hmm. The only time we replace culverts is if we're redoing the ditching and the culvert has to be lowered and the culvert has to be replaced, landowner pays for the culvert, we install it. That, that's what we do. So this last time he comes at me, after this last storm, he starts coming at me again, texts, yeah. emails. And the last time he said, well, what really caused the problem was the town backed over the culvert with a 10-wheel truck and flattened it. So now he's alleging that the damage to the culvert is the town's problem. And I said, listen, I'm done. I'm not talking to you about this anymore. If you want to pursue this, you have to come to the select board and present a case to them. So that's why he's, that's why he's coming. And uh, I'm, I've been polite to him, but barely polite in recent times because he just keeps coming back and back and back and back. Paul has had go-arounds with him. I don't know whether Steve has, but I know no, he I've been lucky. He and he and uh Does he, he have and a Paul house on there or is just open land? What? There's a house. Oh no he's got a house. Okay. Uh, way up, yeah okay. he's got a, a right. big driveway that goes up the goes up the hill. So uh, to me quite honestly and I'll say the same thing if he gets here his responsibility to replace that and if he has documentation and really believes Paul denies that we we backed over the culvert and flattened it do we sometimes back into driveways yes we do but I, I don't know where to go with it so I'm looking for help from you guys we repaired the culvert the the washout because it's it's a failed culvert with no bottom countless times which is the whole reason why I told him Doug we will no longer be repairing this We've, we've spent winters where we've cut pressure washer hoses thawing the culvert because it's, it's poked through where it's rotting. Yeah. Went to pull the hose out and severs the hose. I, we've, we've gone above and beyond what we typically would. Most people wouldn't want to. Okay. So. There's the overview. Is he here? Was that know. him coming in? No, that's the fire people. Yeah. Fire fire. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I I told him I told him we would we would. Uh, he is here. He is here. Doug, huh? We're we're running behind schedule, so we're we're just kind of. You're right on time. Fifteen minutes late. Sorry, I don't. Bill, you want to move your stuff? Have a seat. Excuse me. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we should we should introduce ourselves. You, you know me, Peter Hood. Yeah. And uh, Dorinda Grohl, treasurer. Steve Martin, flood board. Paul Sermonara, 
Phil Hayek, Select Board. Mary Skinner, Select Board. George Wallenbecker, Budget. Wise Gardner, Budget Committee. Bill Dorgan, Budget Committee. Mm -hmm. You know, Sarah. Yeah. Sarah. So, I, I just while we were while we were waiting for you, I gave the the board a little of, of the history from what I know, and uh, you know you're looking for the town to replace, help you with that, help you with that culvert. So, yeah. Tell so, us what you tell us what you have to say, as they said. We're here to listen. Well, anybody can drive by and, and see it, and obviously, um, you know we know what happened originally with the weather back in April when um, quite a few culverts were washed out. Um, and the town was, uh, I appreciate the town uh, coming by and uh, dumping loads of riprap, you know, not only in my driveway, but quite a few people, so they could get out of their driveway because it was four foot, five foot deep by six foot wide for your entire driveway entrance. So you couldn't even get out of your driveway. So, um, you know, I'll appreci I appreciate that back then, um, Paul. Um, so um, since then, I guess, uh, you know, obviously a couple weeks ago we had a, uh, uh, we had some more water washout storm. Um, but, you know, I thought what contributed to this besides the weather is um, obviously it's good that the, that the town cleans out all the ditches. Um, obviously, Mine piles up with silt um, right at my base of my, right at the inlet of my culvert uh, on the upper hill side. Um, and, uh, and I understand, you know, um, you know, a lot of times it's just about plugged. You know, it's within, um, you know, it's within the top half anyway. And uh, so I understand, you know, it doesn't take much of a storm for the water to run over the top of it. So um, uh, the town digs out the ditches and stuff like digs out the inlet in front of the inlet. Um, I felt that what contributed to it, my wife came home just by chance at lunchtime and um, um, as periodically she does. But anyway, um, um, you know, the town was in there digging it out. And um, so, you know, I think when you dig it out, you know, um, and mine's an older, it's an older, I got pictures, I didn't send them, but um, um, anybody can go by and look at it. But um, so when you dig it out, um, you know, if you dig underneath, if you dig it deeper than the culvert itself, a lot of times, on an older one too, it, it washed out the bottom, like it undermined the culvert. So it went under, so when we had the storm, it washed out the underneath of it. And, and anybody can see, you know, it, you know, it, it washed it out, whatever. My wife just happened to come home. She saw the excavator in the driveway and, you know, um, and we always knew the drive, the culvert is, I don't know how old it is. It's gotta be 25 years old or whatever, 30 years old. It's a metal one too. So it was partially rusted. So we know to drive on one side of the driveway. You know, we know to one area, uh, you know, don't drive on it because it's, you know, that's where it was tender. Um, you know, had a small hole that had developed in the top of the culvert, and so the um, dirt and gravel, crush and run, or whatever on that side fell down into it, so there would be a small hole in the top of the culvert as you go in your driveway. So we knew to avoid that. Um, I think when the, when the town trucks turn around, and I see greater tracks in our driveway too. I see greater tracks in the driveway. So I mean, you can't miss the greater track. It's different than any other track, obviously, any other tire frame. So um, I think when the bigger trucks or trucks go in there, even a, even a one ton loaded up would clearly um, you know, do some damage to that. And I believe it did, and I have pictures of it and it actually caved in. So it was never caved in before. Now the, the culvert actually caved in. It broke even bigger hole and caved in on the culvert. So besides the undermining of the water washing underneath of it, obviously that contributed to, I got a few pictures. Um, you know, I felt that um, 
you know, everybody's yeah, driveway, please. everybody's driveway washed out. It's on my phone, but um, oh, okay. But um, and I can send them to your text uh, to your phone if you want. Oops, no, no. Well, if you don't mind, if we promise we won't look at your other pictures, if you have a good picture, just pass them around. Well, these are I pick in the dark because I leave at five o'clock in the morning and don't come back until dark, pretty much uh, even in the summer. But so there's the uh, that was never like that. So you can see the uh, the hole was a small hole in the culvert, and actually you can flip, you can slide the pictures. Um, so there's like five or six pictures there, Steve. So you'll see them. Um, you know. So anyway, you can slide it either way and, and see the five or six pictures. And they're pretty much in the dark. Um, so anyway, um, so I just felt like, you know, obviously um, a lot of driveway. I, plus, I've talked to people who the town replaced their culvert. They bought the culvert and the town replaced it. Um, so, and I understand, you know, I'm talking to... Um, you know, Peter, that uh, obviously if they're ditching in that area, maybe they had they felt like it was in their best interest, the town was best interest to replace the culvert if somebody had their culvert there. So I know some people that have had that happen, and so I brought that up, and I said, well, you know, when do we, so do we pick and choose who we want to replace culverts with? You know, um, you know obviously when there's been road work, you know, and all that gravel, let's just say down by uh, Hickory's, down through the Picard. I'm just saying you guys have done all great work as far as up over Molly Supo and all fix all the drainage in a lot of areas, but so it's not a foot deep in the mud anymore. But on that stretch, you know, just in general, you know, I asked for some of that material. So these are just things I'm bringing up. Like I said, oh, wow, geez, you're replacing the road sections and all over these places. and. You're just giving it to people, and it was our tax dollars, fifty thousand. I mean, somebody could estimate, and I have it's over fifty thousand dollars of road material is down at John Picard's place. So I mean, so that and that happens. I understand there's road work in certain areas, so you want to go to the shortest place. I said, hey, you know, I'd like some of that material. You know, give me some of that material. I'll cover up my uh, my driveway, so um, you know maybe it'll be more robust and it won't uh, wash out. Um, right there at the driveway entrance. Um, needless to say, you know, maybe my my driveway is a mile from where they're doing the construction, and that's not as convenient as somebody that's 400 yards away. Um, so that was something else I wanted to point out. Obviously, anybody can see, you know, all that material that Thank the you. whole road section that was replaced, sure. the whole road section that was replaced from, you know, basically almost hickories down through the Picards. You know that that section right there. Um, you know, one person gets all the material. So I'm just saying that you know maybe. Well, I, I, I'm going to just interject there, Doug, and say that when, wherever we're working, we're looking for the for the closest yeah. spot, and and we've given material to to people all over town. Yeah. Our excavator is no good without a truck under it. So the sooner that the turnaround is. Yep. Uh, and I, if I remember right, we did dump material at your house. Yeah, it wasn't as much as John because the, the, the area is not as big. But I just want to make sure it's noted that we did put material at your in your little yeah pull off it, there as well. Right, it, and it, and a lot of it is the uh, the ditching work, and obviously that's there's gravel there too and stuff like that. Um, obviously, we'd all like that uh, road material, uh, the you know uh, stay mat or whatever uh, that comes out of the road. Um, and obviously somebody will, you know, go around and sell it afterwards after they're getting it from the town for free, which is all How our tax dollars. How do you know dollars. that people are going around and selling it? Well, I've asked for, I asked for the material, and um, I even said that I would pay for the trucking up to my place of the town material that came out of the road, which is our tax dollars, and it was told to me, sure, I can do that, Doug. And then later on, when I asked again, hey, when are you going to be able to drop that off, well, I'm gonna. I'm keeping that. I'm gonna. Um, I got better things for it. And then I've heard. Who that, said that? Uh, you know, I don't want to. Um, I'm not gonna I, bring I, up. I, I don't people. understand. You're okay, saying you, that I've people already are... told you the people, the the material that's being replaced, the the sections of road that are being replaced around town. 
and it's being like Paul said, you want to dump it to the closest, uh, the closest. But house. there is a reason why we're digging that out. And I because understand. of the blow. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. So oh yeah. Same thing all, with moly soup. Okay. I mean, yeah. Great. That material is. Yeah. It's but, there's we're a reason we're why we're excavating it. Yeah. There's a reason. But so back to our so Doug, no, just a bit. So it, it, it would be helpful. So I'm just I'm just venting on a bunch of things. No, 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 no. I, I I hear that, but it, it would be good for you to tell us exactly what you're looking for. I'm looking for. Um, I feel that um, everybody, everybody, obviously, everybody, a lot of people's driveways that washed out due to the weather, um, whether the, at their driveway entrance with their culverts. Um, um, you know, I'm looking to say that. I believe when you know when uh, when the excavation was done at the inlet of my um, of my driveway entrance to excavate that silt out of there um, uh, of the uh, culvert that it undermined uh, the actual um, you know so when we it undermined my culvert so when we did have the storm um, it just it went right underneath my driveway it went right underneath the culvert. <laughs> And I feel that contributed too. Um, and I understand their town's doing their work. And um, so I, I feel I'm going to repeat what Peter said. What is it you? I'm looking for compensation and replacement, um, or a, a compensation, a portion of uh, the culvert, um, and replacement of that uh, of that culvert. Um, there's obviously if somebody doesn't want to do that, then dump a load of riprap in there. And a load of uh, which you have plenty of material there. Grab some uh, crush and run or whatever you got there, and and dump that over and where, there, uh, right there at my over the top of my culvert. It's a huge hole. It's a huge I, I hole. I see it every day when I drive. Yeah. So I'm just saying, dump a load of riprap in there, and dump a load of crush and run over the top of it, and and then I guess it'll be there. And it's frozen. It's not gonna. <coughs> nothing's gonna be happening too much more through the winter. So and then I guess we'll take it up in the winter time. Well, I don't. I don't think it will stay there. You, you. And I'm not trying to. All I know, Doug, is the history we've had with the culvert. Um, the, I've told the board in the past couple of years we we've actually ruined a, a pressure washer hose for thawing the culverts, because the spot that's that's now dumping water in the middle of it where it's eroded, not at the inlet that. Is right. claimed to have been undermined. Yeah, and it was it's actually dinged there too. Just to let you know, it looked like the excavator had dented the inlet too. If you if you zoom in on the inlet, it looks like it dented it. But well, I'm not talking about the inlet because yeah. the, the inlet's solid as can be. It's it's where where the culvert has failed and rotted underneath yeah. that it's eroded, which would have been none of the town's doing. The, the culvert, as you've admitted, yeah. is is failed. Yep. It's failed. We've re we fixed it numerous times. We've ruined a, a pressure washer hose thawing the culvert, and and that's not just on my my thing because you I know everybody's culverts freeze. I've talked to Peter about it. Oh Every, yeah, no, and I and, and we we thaw those yeah. culverts yeah. with no questions yeah. asked. But the reason why that hose got ruined is because it it punched through that area that's failed, mm -hmm. and when when we tried to pull it back, it cut. And ruin the hose hmm. because the culvert has failed. It's rotted on sure, the bottom. I, I, now I understand. I've never heard that before. Yeah, so. you know. So I know that the yeah. beginning part of the culvert is actually good, where you guys still drive. Yeah. There's no undermining that happened right. there. It's all on that lower portion where yeah. the culverts failed. Yeah. And we fixed that numerous times. Okay. We we have, and you've even you've yeah. said that. Yeah. You know. I, so yeah. it's it's that. just hard for me, Doug, and I. We we went over this in the spring, and I said, you asked how much it would be for the town to fix it, which we don't do that anyways as a that's like a business thing so i know you you had comments on the price of it but yeah. we, we don't have small equipment no we, but we i have understand that you said it was twenty eight hundred twenty seven twenty eight hundred dollars was your word and i told matt you know hey matt matt dwyer how much would you do it for and matt says oh this, that's like a i told him that the town said twenty eight hundred he started laughing he said that's more like thirteen hundred i could do yeah. it for thirteen because he has a small he has a one ton yeah. and, and a mini excavator and yeah. we do not okay that's, yep. but we don't do that as a business. business. We're not yeah. in the business of replacing <laughs> sure. COVID. No, okay, that's fine. But uh, so, so what's the practice been in the past? Well, some people uh, got No, I'm asking Peter, Doug, just a um, yeah. uh, disposition so, of the board. So our policy has been, as far as I know, and okay. I double-checked this with, with Steve and Paul, yeah. is the only time we replace culverts okay. is when it's a direct result of our ditching activity, and then 
we ask the property owner to pay for the culvert and we install it. So, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're digging a deeper ditch and the culvert's way up here, it doesn't work. Gotcha. Okay? Yeah. But we do not, and, yeah. you know, I tried to explain this to Doug. I said, how do I, how do I say that I'm going to replace your culvert when, you know, many people this spring were replacing, including my next door neighbors and people mm -hmm. right up and down the, the road from you, are replacing those at their own expense? And yeah, when the town grader comes along and tries to smooth it out or, or make it better, but it, we're fundamentally not replacing culverts. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, if we did something wrong, if we caused the damage, or if it's as a result of our construction activity, it needs to be done, that's a different thing. But as far as Doug disagrees with me, he said okay. we've replaced culverts all over town. I said, well, I'm not aware that we have, and Paul and Steve not. aren't aware that we have. It's only when, so, you, when the ditching, like you said, the ditching... You're ditching, and it's in best interest of the town to replace. Otherwise, it's just going to wash out. And I understand. So those are the ones that get replaced. Um, like I like I was just saying, the uh, when you're digging out the ditch. Um, also, like I said, the, the excavator has turned around in my driveway numerous times over the years. Why well, so, would the excavator turn around in your yard? I'm uh, not the excavator. Sorry, me. The the um, um, grader. The grader has. Uh, because it's a good location. If you go up and down that road, you're not going to go into Chip and Paula Higgins' place. That's right on the corner. You're not going to go across the road to them, to, to the guy that bought uh, Travis Milford place. You know, that's uh, that's not a good place. That's right on the corner. You're not going to go to Lawson's place. That's kind of like just after the corner, but down over a dip and hill. So, I mean, there's places, there's only limited so number of just, driveways. Let me just, so, let me just say drive, something turns on that around in my Hold driveway. on a second. <laughs> First of all, I disagree with everybody. I'm not saying we haven't turned around in your driveway. I'm sure we've had. Lots of town equipment has turned around in my driveway. If you had a properly installed culvert with a proper amount of dirt over it, any of those vehicles could. Without a doubt. Without I, any the, damage. The, so, without any damage. You're right. But mine is a, a culvert that's older, and it's slightly rotted, and rotted in some areas more than other. So, therefore, when a grader drives over the top of it and trucks for the town equipment then obviously you could see that was never like that how could you get a dent in it and then all of a sudden it crushes the top of it we never drove on that side of it so you know that was in but i always saw the grader tracks in there i always saw town towns turn around in there all the time it's a great place to turn around but you're right when you have a an older rotted culvert um, you don't want to be driving around. You don't want to be turning around there. So, you, know, you could, so I'm saying, yeah, it's partially my my fault, partially the town's fault. So l let's come to an agreement to you know to replace it. If not, I'm going to get a load of riprap and dump it in there, and it's going to sit there. I'm not going to I'm not replacing my my culvert. I'm just going to dump a load of riprap. I'll have stoners, you know, someone come in and drop a load of riprap, and we'll uh, and that'll be that. So yeah. be careful if you do that, because if that causes a road to wash out, we're going to be coming after well, you. Well, I know everybody, everybody can say <laughs> that it, you know, so I'm sure even if the next storm comes and it washes out everybody's driveway, including why mine, are you so, and goes why out are you into so, the road. Why are you so against replacing your culvert after 25 years? Mm -hmm. It sounds like the culvert's will. failed. Probably in the springtime I will. It's a financial cost, too. It's not free. Some people well, might have that, all the money I, in the world. Some uh, people don't. A lot of people don't. Okay. So, you know, there, it's clearly a difference. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Truly not, I'm truly not trying to be I'm hard no, I'm saying, if, I the, if I had the money, I wouldn't be arguing too. Like, um, if I had, you know, money that a, a lot of people have that are halfway retired, then you know, they there's people with money that have no problem just saying, oh, don't worry about it, town. I'll I'll replace it. But you know, I look at it. You know, well, if their fault is with both parties then why shouldn't the town also contribute uh, towards this uh, monetary uh, cost? And, um, and I look at it as, you know, you know, I don't have all the money in the world for just repl to, you know, call up and have somebody come in and replace it. So, you know, so that's, that's where we stand. And, okay. you know, so the town can, can, you know, you've heard the side of it. I mean, you can clearly see the culvert is crushed. If you want to see the, um, the photos again, that culvert was never, it was perfectly uh, 
severe, you know, uh, circular, whatever you want to say, but it was never, but it was, it was, uh, got, had a hole in the top and a hole in the bottom, but it was never, it was never crushed. It was never crushed. We never drove on that side of it. And when I kept seeing the, um, you know, the, like I said, the greater tires on it and the town truck, uh, I, the one ton on it, I'm not sure if the 10 wheelers uh, turned around there or not. It's a great place to turn around. So, I mean, um, uh, just want to let you know. So, um, now it's crushed. And anybody okay. can see right. that. We've, we've got yeah, the message, I think. So, I'm all set. So, I mean, well, you guys can talk it over and... And uh, I'd rather, to, to tell you the truth, I'd rather talk about it with you in the room so you can hear it. So, what are we thinking, board members? That culvert, <clears throat> it's, it isn't just this year. That culvert has been failing for, for quite a while. I don't know when it was rotted out, but I've gone by there and seen it rotted out on the top. Before. Well, there was a small hole on the top, but and and that's where the water, the gravel was falling down in. But you're right. But when I built it's rotted there. there it's I built there 20 places. years ago, and before the, me, there was a property there, and it was like a little tiny mobile home, and not even a, a, it was like a 30 footer, and um, and so that was at the bottom. I don't even know if somebody really lived there, but anyway, um, that's the culvert that was there uh, with that mobile home at the bottom and then I bought the property and uh, when the person had pulled the mobile home off I bought the property as raw land and um, I built a house there. But do you didn't replace the culvert? No, it didn't need it 20 years so it could ago. Be, it could have been even older than 25 Oh years. yeah, I, I mean, when did, uh, somebody might know, Steve, you might know how long that, that, that I don't. I don't know either. I guess Sarah would have to look it up, but I mean, uh, when that person, uh, that I bought it from, you know, when they um, got the approval yeah, of the culvert and first had a mobile home from, there. From my perspective, I see two scenarios. One is if we were ditching uh, East Hill and coming down through there and ditching and had, because of our ditching, had to replace it, we would. Uh, that's one scenario. The other scenario is I think that you need to replace your culvert on, at your expense. Sure. So when are we, are we scheduled to do? Ditching there? If, if it, it could potentially be. Yeah. Could potentially be. I'm just what I'm what I'm worried about is uh, we almost we almost lost a big section of the road. Yep. Yeah. And that's going to happen again until that's until that's properly fixed. So I don't like threatening our residents and saying we're going to go after them for damage that they. They do to our road, but I suppose potentially we would. Um, I don't remember that we ever have, but maybe we would. But is there any? Uh, I I truly we, feel like the town has contributed more than their fair share of material and labor several times over the course of this Kelbert's failure. But what Peter's asking is if <coughs> if we need to ditch down through the air, I would replace it if if. If, if the culvert had, was was provided, and and the timing worked out, that I would. But that doesn't help it right now. I mean, you see down below Lawson's, do right about 200 yards down the road from me is Lawson's place. <clears throat> the road's washed out. The road is. But that's uh, ledge, okay. dog. That's not culvert failure. Okay, because about three, four feet into the road, the that's road ledge. is washed that's, out. That's all ledge, for a good, but, you know, 40 yards. The main, that's the main East Hill Road. It's washed out for 40 yards. That, that's the ledge. Yeah. They're culverts, and I've I've stopped several times. Your your lower neighbor below you, I'm gonna have to talk with them because they're their culverts beginning to fail, and it'll be their expense. But that's as a homeowner, that's that's the expense of, of having it. Again, I'm ha if the, if the scenario worked and the culvert was provided and we were there, of course we would change it like we would any other time. And that's probably why, you know, like I said, I, I know people who have had their culverts replaced and they said, oh, yeah, we had the, the culvert and the town, you know, was coming through and they, they put it in and I was like, wow, what a deal that is. And so, and then that confirms after talking to different people and they say, oh, well, if we're, if we're in that area and we're doing ditching and stuff like that, yeah, we've, we've replaced it, you know, because 
Otherwise, it's just going to wash out, you know, because you always dig deeper, mainly, and you dig deeper so, than the... Uh, so just to bring this to some kind of a conclusion, if it's likely we're going to do ditching there next year, you buy the culvert, we put it in. Thank you. I'm, that's a hypo hypothetical that's at this point in time. Correct. Because we don't, I mean, what, when do you decide where you're ditching? Well, that would be if you decide to give us the money. Well, especially if you have another No, but what, another one down yeah, from his, his then obviously I don't know. Do much two at once. Oh yeah. Well, oh absolutely. Yeah. We yeah. we would never jump over a culvert. You know, right. we don't pick and yeah. choose. We don't we don't skip. Caller, Steve. Yeah. Estimated cost of the culvert. The fifteen inch culvert at thirty feet is be under four hundred dollars, I believe. Fifteen inch. I thought it was okay because I was looking at the one of the sizes and mm -hmm. I thought it was eight hundred. But of course, I'm not a no, contractor. No, I don't think it's and I don't not eight hundred. But. And the yeah, other thing is, I think it's that's under hundred five hundred dollars. About four hundred and fifty, maybe five hundred. Okay. Where are you getting it? But. That, now, is that the contract how do we, price? Is that how do we the how do we do that? We we sell them one of our. We no longer can. What? We no, no longer can. We've been. So they have to buy the culvert. They have to buy the culvert. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Because we are not a. We're not. No, we're not a. We're not a business dealer. Yeah, not a bank, not not a yeah. Right. Yeah. Not and I'll probably uh, maybe, and I know I can call around for co for costs. I'm not a contractor, so I'm not going to get a good deal. But I mean, if uh, you know wherever the town's getting theirs, the source that they're getting theirs from, you know, uh, maybe if I went there, then I would get a better deal than uh, you know, because people that deal, uh, you know, these con these uh, sources that. Um, sell to the towns in volume, well, you know, they can do it cheaper than a single homeowner going someplace and getting it. So at least if I can say, well, I'm with the town. We'll try to get that in that in the schedule. We'll see where that goes, but I'm not going to promise that it's going to be the first thing in the spring. No. But, right. No. Wait a second. Yeah, okay. I thought, yeah, we, still okay. had a, I thought we still had a problem for the winter. Yes or no? I, I don't, I'm just curious what the short term, I, mean, I am worried that will... Well, it's, it's everything's freezing up. Um, you know, obviously, we just had some rain, you know, uh, today and a couple of weeks ago. But, I mean, uh, I plan on uh, getting a load of, uh, getting a load of probably, it would it'd have to be riprap, right? It couldn't be five-inch minus or anything like that. It'd have to be heavy to fill into that. Uh, five-inch hole. It would. Because, well, it would, because the culvert is, is, failed and there's water going yeah. under it, stone would be better because it would continue to flow down the ditch. Right. That would be the best bet. Just larger stone. What do you guys got over there? You guys the got, don't have any more five inch any more of that rip wrap that you guys dumped on ditch and stone. It's all gone. We've yeah. Used it all. Gravel. Gravel and sand is all we have. Hey select board chair? Peter? I'm sorry? I just wanted you to know that we're way over. Yes. No, I know we are. We are. Thank you, Appreciate Doug. it. Thank I you mean, very much for everybody's time. Appreciate it. Colchester Technical Rescue decided they were getting rid of their rescue and they're going to put it up for auction. It's 2004 with 23,000 miles on it. Eric's got some pictures of it from underneath, which and the rocker panels, which are important. Um, and so they're looking, it's blue booking out about 13000 um, So for price-wise, I mean, we would offer them less than thirteen and see where we came up with. So when I priced it out, I did it between ten and 13000 for the truck. And then for lights and a cap to go over um, the, the bed portion comes up to basically $5,100. So you're looking at... On the outside, about 18.1 for this, um, and then I priced out a new crew cab and chassis, and we're eligible for fleet purchases because Middlesex is part of the towns. Um, a new truck with a new Reading body and everything comes up to about uh, 54.7. Both of them gas trucks, so we don't have to deal with the diesel issue 
because if you don't use the new diesel engines constantly, the gunk that you have to put in crystallizes, so we don't want to go that route. So that's kind of where we are there. The pictures to look at, it's in great shape. I haven't gone up to see it, but Eric. Uh, it's a 2004 with 23,000 miles on it, and it's been all its life in the garage. Hey, Jeff, just for the what? record, I don't understand priced out new crab and crab chassis. That's an additional 54.7? The you to <coughs> price comparison of a new oh I see it's fifty four thousand right for the ch the cabin chassis and oh. the box and okay. the cap I didn't understand that either so basically a new truck with getting to where the used is is going to be about fifty five thousand versus uh, fifteen to eighteen thousand and we're this just happened to pop up and that's why we're looking at this route. And is our existing rescue worth anything? I mean anything? Funny you should ask. My son sent me pictures of a very similar but newer rescue down in Texas. I can go look at that on Sunday. Um, that they're trying to sell for five thousand. So yes I would say our rescue is worth something, probably in the neighborhood of one to two thousand. Somebody who wants a, a big block Chevy would probably want it. It's got a 454 in it, as is this one. Um, Which was tuned up last year and now really builds well. Yeah, so. <laughs> you know, there's four parts to it. It's so easy. <laughs> last year we spent close Our, to Our Ours was tuned up last year? This truck was this tuned. Truck. Yes. Yeah, last uh, year. Our truck. The, our our existing truck. Yes. 4718. So, so we spent about $900 last year on that. We spent a little over 1300 this year. And we've got rust issues to get it through inspection for this for 2020. So we're we're looking at spending. So this is this is basically a one ton or three quarter ton double. This is a one. Ton. It's a one ton, and it has what I call a service body on the back, right? Not yeah, a pickup yes. body. It's four wheel drive. Yeah, and it has the the six person cab. Six, cab. New, six new tires. Does it have a winch? It does not have a winch, but it has a receiver for it. They removed that. For some reason, they felt they could use it again. So the good news just keeps on coming. So, I mean, when it popped up, it was like, well, we can save a lot of money by if we can make it happen. I understand the financial constraints and, and everything, but the the opportunity to get a, a vehicle in good shape from another department. Um, you said something about how you get some some access to this because you're part of the towns or something like that? I didn't the, understand the, that. The, no, that was for the new truck. For the new truck, we can get fleet pricing because Middlesex is part of um, the League of Cities and Towns. Okay. Right. Because so the estimated the estimated life of this truck, if we were to buy it, would be how long do we think? Well, I, I mean, it should last a long time. Yeah, eight to fifteen years. 15, oh, yeah. 15, 20 years would be. Yeah, it's going to stay in the garage, so it's not going to be. Outside. Outside. <laughs> I mean, our our current one we got used, and it's an eighty two, eighty two or eighty three, but it's. It's reaching the end of its usefulness. Yeah. <clears throat> so this would replace a truck of similar configuration. Yes. Okay. The the configuration we have now is we have a single cab with a bench seat. Okay. So you can squeeze three people yeah. in the front, and then people have to get in the back. The only entrance and exit to that back compartment is a back door. So if it were to get rear-ended up on the interstate with people in it. Yeah. Isn't going to be pretty. That's we we do not want to. That's why we want to go with the crew cab. And that one's eighty two, nineteen eighty two, eighty six. And that's the one you just tuned up. Yeah, we've been we've been putting. I mean, I'm we just always. To, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You only have one rescue vehicle. One right. rescue. Right. Yeah. And how many rescues did you do last year where you used the vehicle? I do not know how many times it went out. It goes out on all the interstate calls, pretty much. Well, a lot of them, not. I mean, the numbers that so I say... It goes out more than the fire trucks. No, as much as... Engine 1 will go out first. 
and then if we have the people or the need, the rescue will follow for the interstate or any accident. All uh, structure fires will go out. Okay, but you only had what? What was it? Thirty-eight calls well, last year. So the the thing is, this is a piece of equipment that's a necessary item, just like we have home insurance that we hardly ever access, but we have home insurance. The rescue, the tanker, the air packs are all things that we need to have to bring to the fight. Now, things that are luxury that we don't have and we're, we don't have any plans to get would be like a purse tool. I if understand we, the argument. I just wanted you to answer my question. I don't have those numbers of exact how many times it went out. I didn't get that for tonight. Well, when we were discussing the budget, we got the yeah, I know, numbers. but I it was, have, it was only like about 38 times the year. Well, that's, I mean, that, it, it, it's, it's irrelevant. It, right. Because we don't, you know, we're hoping no calls come in, and we never have to use the equipment. But if we have a call for a fire, we need the equipment. So it doesn't matter if it goes out 100 times or 38 times. Or one time. Or one yeah. time, you know. We can't not have enough. So Colchester's getting rid of this because they're replacing it. They replaced with it with um, a bigger truck. Bigger truck, okay. Mm -hmm. um, do we need to get a winch if they took it back? Is that something that's included or is that an additional? I, I didn't price out a winch, but this is a, a plug-in to mm -hmm. the receiver, you know, a two-by-two two plug-in winch, so it's it's something that can be added. It's hundreds of dollars. It's not thousands. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. So this is available now. Mm -hmm. Correct. They're going to. So that's auction the, that's it. the problem. If we're going to do this, they're going to. If we don't do this, they're willing to sell it to us. We yeah. can hopefully negotiate a price without it going to auction. Oh, okay. Okay. But they're anxious to move it. Move it. So sure. they're they're not going to wait for us to fiddle faddle around too long. So that's why I asked. <laughs> Asked them to come. I said, come on down and tell mm -hmm. us about it, and mm -hmm. let's see how people feel. And, and thinking about it a little bit, since you and I talked about it, Jeff, I mean, the bottom line is the cost of borrowing is, is peanuts, and I hate to borrow, borrow, yeah. borrow, borrow, but pay for this truck over four or five years, and it's, it well, really it's is peanuts. Well, it's a good price, too. And, it, and this is the last vehicle in our upgrade for a long time. So it just, I mean, to me, it seemed logical to try to go this route. Even if we go for a, go to, go through VTech and go for a used and they put something together, it's going to be more than this. A lot more. Because yeah. we're going to do, we're going to put the lights on, we'll buy them. And the prices on the lights are non-sale prices right now. They, The company that, that I looked at has sales on them. But I wanted to give you, you know, if, if we don't get the sale prices, this is what the prices normally are. Um, <clears throat> So the lights will probably come in under that. But I wanted to give the what we thought. And, and putting a cap on it, I looked at Catamount North, and they did a, a similar vehicle for Shelburne. And it has the same utility box type thing, and then it has a cap over top mm -hmm. with doors on it, and then more compartments up top. Um, that's about $3,500, but that gives us some more capability and keep stuff weathered and um, so what's the all-in cost the all-in we're looking at at probably the max of 18 one versus 50 something for a new one 55 for a new yeah, one well, we wouldn't likely buy a new one but even to get a even to get a even to get a used a used a similar used good truck, if you could find one, I still think that's a pretty attractive price. I, I went online and looked at, uh, and looked at I think three quarter tons, not one tons, but they were going for more money than that, significantly more. And the so I don't, I don't, you know, it seems like every minute that the, yeah, the cash mean, register rings and yeah. and the Dorinda trembles, but <laughs> we. we we gotta make we gotta make good decisions to take advantage of opportunities when they come up. So I mean, this kind of falls in the line of engine six that we got. <clears throat> Just kind of fell in our lap. Kind of. How much time do you? I mean, <coughs> will they give us a couple? How anxious are they to auction this thing? 
It will probably be going up to auction within the next few weeks. Yeah. So we, what are you going to offer them? I would go at them with 10 first and see where they come back. Yeah. It seems like a good opportunity. I, I, I agree. And I agree uh, too. It does, but you know, we're you know I financially know, know. we're in not very good place right now, you know? Yeah. No, I know we're not, but but you know, getting back to the highway discussion, getting back to all our discussions, getting back to the computer discussion yeah. we're gonna have yeah. in a few minutes. Yeah. We can we gotta take care of this stuff. And when we have an opportunity, a good opportunity, I think we have to try and do it. And we, we'll strip off, like we have a generator in the current rescue, we'll strip that off and put it on, we'll do some replumbing because we'll put a gas tank on it, because right now it's plumbed to the gas tank of the rescue. And we, we won't do that, we'll just make it, we'll have a tank, get a tank for it. But there's stuff that we can take off. The equipment. Yeah. yeah, equipment. We're not going to take the light bar because that's an old light bar and the new standard is LEDs and especially at Banana State you want to be seen. So yeah. it makes sense to throw a couple hundred dollars into good quality LEDs yeah. light systems on it. Somebody willing to make a motion? Ladies and gentlemen. I have a question. Yes. So in order... Uh, I believe, Sarah, you might be able to chime in on this. In order to borrow, we can for the town highway trucks, but can we for fire trucks without a vote? Yes, you can. Yeah. The we issue was for yeah. how long you had to finance it. It's all about it's the about years. The finance. Yeah, right. Okay. So, yeah, you yeah. can do this. So, I think kind it's of. either five or seven. Right. On something like this then. I think it's anything over five years needs a town-wide vote. vote. Is that what it was? That. I knew yep. there was something like well, that. Five years about the right amount for this. Yeah. Do you want me to just quickly check the statutes? No, that's fine. I think close it's... Close enough. Close enough. May I just say something very quickly, Peter? Yes. So when I was getting my tires changed, I already told Marge about this. Uh, I was going to bring this up. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I ran into a uh, person who works, who is involved with the based in PTO, and they uh, put their name down at Lawson's Brewery, which will donate all its tips. They pick one organization, and maybe two organizations per month, and this was just last April, not a great month for tourism. They got $16,000, and I just think it just requires a letter from the fire department to them saying, we provide, we're raising money for a rescue vehicle, and if you want me to write the letter, I'll be happy to write the letter. Uh, and just say, we, we need money for a rescue vehicle. You never know, it could be servicing one of the people who works at your brewery or one of the people visiting your, your brewery. And please, could you consider putting our name down? $16,000. Eh? We could call it the SIP. Well, the... <laughs> <laughs> I like that. The, Have you, uh, we, we, this is the first I've heard that they do this. Or? But the, the timing on this, I don't think we can wait to... For that to go no, through. Not we're not that asking can, you to yeah. wait. We're asking you to yeah. do this to yeah, potentially we reimburse the cost if we get it. Oh, yeah, some yeah. cost. Yeah, that's. I, I thought it was going to. The, no, what I'm saying is that and you know I don't know how long the wait is to get on their list. It seems pretty but, lucrative. Now yeah, no. Know, I, we're, we're, everybody's going to know about it, but um, yeah, we'd be happy. Where are the to, employees? Did you just say that the employees pick who the. Who oh, it's going to go employees? to? I don't know who picks. Yeah, it. that's what Bob told me because he doesn't have any ambulance has gotten it before, and they got. Oh yeah, well, I, this all, we're, all we're saying is, you know, one of the things we've been after you guys to do for a while is fundraising. Is help with fundraising, and this isn't standing out in the cold with a with a boot collecting dollars and quarters. This is real. <laughs> no, yeah, this is this, real I money, mean, and it's fairly simple to do. So, yeah. if you could if you could work with Sarah to generate that letter, we'll get it in there. And, see what happens Reg regardless of this rescue decision yeah, but yeah. No, to say that yeah. we're to say that the purpose of this is to uh, procure a rescue isn't too much of a stretch so it's hard yeah. to pay off the rescue for yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The words with it. yeah so I mean that was a joke calling it the sip but you know I'm all, it also made me stop and think you know after I left here why not sell advertising on a fire truck 
I don't think you can legally. Yeah. I've never seen advertising on the Or it's more subtly. <laughs> I know. You know, a subtle Lawson's. Maybe we could put maybe we could put put decals on the turnout gear. You know, like like a football team. <laughs> yeah, I know, we can't make it look like a NASCAR. Look, I, I'm sorry we yeah. don't have a lot of time tonight. Yeah. We need to make a decision on this because we've got a long way to go. No, I'm, I'm all for doing. But but. Uh, we're looking for some help from you on this, and I think this is pretty a pretty oh, yeah. simple thing to do. It's not going to require a lot of time or effort. No, so, that's, and especially if, if Sarah, Sarah, Sarah the author, can write the letter, that makes it easy on everybody. So, thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, put I'll a little. Put them. a little. Schmaltz. Yeah. Put a little <laughs> schmaltz in there. We'll all okay. Have a sip of sunshine, then we'll write the letter. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do this. We've got so, to have a motion. I'll make the motion, uh, but it'll be up to a maximum of 18000 and for four years. For the so finance. We would finance it for. Yeah. I think that four years. So we would take the free year. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be in this budget. It would be in next year's. No, no, it will be in next year's budget if they buy it now. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm saying. This by this year, I mean between now and July first. So the budget right. we're talking about, it's going to be in there. Right, exactly. So yeah. we'll have Got to it. put that number. Yep. In. Got it. Is there a second? Okay. I'll second it. So all in favor of the motion that's been moved and seconded to purchase this truck for no more than $18,000, hopefully less. Well, Please. less with the uh, equipment. Yeah. equipment they're going to buy. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Is that a no or an abstention? I'm, I'm thinking. <clears throat> Mine's a no. I think mine's a no, too. Okay, so the motion doesn't pass. No. Nope. Uh, I guess that's it, guys. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you. Yeah. I would rather just not. Go, just you want to review the budget, I'm assuming. Yes. So we can. Because we have the budget committee here. Right. That's what I thought. So. Um, so we're back to this. So we're back to this piece of paper, okay. and I'll try to summarize it pretty quickly. So under general government, it's about a 1.62 increase. Again, we have. Um, I plugged in just two percent on. The increases that would be for the select board and Sarah as the assistant to the um, board. Um, insurance numbers are not actuals, and um, we don't have county dues or county uh, VLCT dues or county taxes numbers yet. So you just plugged in last. So year. I just plugged in last year's for now. Um, so you don't think it makes sense to um, increase it by some percent because it just doesn't... Well, this is, a, this is just a preliminary thing, you know, it's... We should have a lot, we'll have a lot of that information by the time... Right. We're, I, I mean, I have, I can't say what it's... Yeah. I mean, last year's numbers came in less than, you know, well, we actually had real numbers but each time we go to the budget with it so so they'll be in in December or they'll they be usually in in January? Come in, they usually come in in December so um, then we have uh, so that's basically everything that's in that one the we drop um, discretionary fund last year we dropped down to 8,000 we had always we had been um, 
or actually we increased it to 8,000. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. But we've been using far more than discretionary in discretionary funds, Correct. and I don't know if you want to leave that at that or not. You, what you mean is we're running it and we're taking it from other budgets? Well, and well, this we doesn't, overspend, we, we overspend, overspend every budget. year, and yeah. it shows only $2,400 like that we use, but we really used more because the expense went to the actual expense yeah. as opposed gotcha. to reducing right. the discretionary fund. So. That's food for thought if you want to change yeah, that But the one. solid waste is a solid figure? Yes, that's one just barely came in. Um, so everything, elections, because we have two big elections coming up, that increased. Mm -hmm. um, you've got the mm -hmm. primary, the, you know, um, the primaries and regular voting, so our voting. I'm sorry, where is that? That's in the same, oh, it's under elections, the uh, one, two, three, four, like the fifth one up from the total for general government. Yeah. Okay, got it. Above miscellaneous expense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, <coughs> next group is the admin. And here we have, um, again, office wages were budgeted in um, with a 2% increase. The, um, it shows higher because there's been um, a change in, um, we've brought on another person that, um, I'm trying to think why that went up, it wasn't because of that. Um, Oh, we realigned Sarah's hours as admin, so because she hadn't been in there before, as um, it was split 48, and it should be 49 and 51. So that's what makes the change there. Lister wages, you know how that mm -hmm. went from their presentation, so that's showing the extra increase. That's that, assuming that we adopt it. Right. So they're just yeah. putting in, yeah. and all yeah. these okay. are all assumptions. Yeah. Right. Um, and delinquent tax collector wages, that just was across the board, 2% increase. And then all your associated taxes with that. Again, we'll work waiting on um, a couple of things there. The other thing we changed was the listing mileage and expenses under their budget. And um, we dropped what we were allowing for office seminars because nobody really goes to any in this department. So we saved a little bit there. And that takes care of that. Town Hall, we adjusted electricity. Are you going to, to come back to the computer maintenance? At uh, well, a later I, yeah. Discussion? Okay, why don't we just, you want to discuss that now? Yeah. I mean, you guys tell me, I just know that you well, said you wanted to talk about yeah. it. Yeah. I've got it highlighted, but I didn't know how, if it was something that you guys were going to talk about later when Phil, or? Um, well, I really wasn't going to talk about maintenance, per se, as a line of when I was going to talk about a couple of things we need to do to replace a couple of computers. Right. And I think the all of your expense in here showing that we spent last year why it went to 13,000 it's because it all got posted into when we bought that it all got posted into In the, oh, computer okay. maintenance yeah. it's not, it's not just okay um that would make sense yeah so we should but have the a computers new line. but the computers we're talking about buying we're talking about buying them asap so right. You're, you're talking about doing it beforehand. Okay. We pretty much have to because yeah. okay. they're going to die in January. Okay, so then is 10000 a good number to leave in there for yeah. ongoing support? I would think support. so. Yeah. Okay, then that answered that so question. So we're still going to call it computer maintenance instead of computer purchase and maintenance? Well, that is matter. Well, that doesn't matter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Electricity, we adjusted to what we have been spending, so that which shows the increase there. Um, street lights, I um, I lowered that because we only spent seventeen hundred last year. And that's the new that's the new solid state street lights, right? The price drop. I 
I I know. Know. Remember we yeah. bought Not the new bulbs that use half the electricity or whatever it is. Um, I didn't make any changes to the public safety department. Um, again, we never used the health officer or the animal control officer, but I left a minimal amount in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, emergency management. That was, um, okay, that was level, fun he level funded that, I think. But didn't he... Wasn't that where Paul and Tenty came in and asked for something different, or no? I don't um, remember. Paul hasn't, Paul hasn't submitted. I don't think he's submitted. His I didn't letter. think he Oh, maybe that's right. why I've got it highlighted, because yeah, sure. he hasn't submitted yeah, he has. it. Okay, so that one was just plugged in. Fire department, we were all here when they submitted their items. Uh, again, we're waiting for insurances on that. Um, debt service for the fire department is going up, and that is because of the tanker. Um, let's see. Actually, you know what? There's a wrong number in there. That's going to help. That should be. Oh, everybody's going to love that one. <laughs> What's the mistake? I uh, put in 17,000 instead of 1,700. Oh, I like that. Where? Isn't that a good one? Ah, okay. Where? Which line is that? Yeah. Under uh, interest. Interest. Fire station interest. Yeah. Oh, oh good. good. Mm -hmm. One yeah. seven. Yeah. No wonder. Yeah, well, it's 174,000. Yeah. yeah. There you go, 174,000. Uh, awesome. So that's 781% should be 78% or seven, 7.8%? Well, so it's 17,400. 87, or nice. what's the number you take out? <laughs> I'm going to take out. Oh, Round the side I'll give up, you the eight, number here in a minute. Okay. So it probably is. Uh, a minute. Let's see if I got it here. 17,488. I got it right here. <coughs> it is. That's poor fire station. The farm. Is seventeen thousand four eighty seven. You were right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the number that's here. And, wh and what is the actual? So that uh, does. So that reduces that line item to eleven point eight eight percent, and overall their budget for the total fire department is um, down three point oh five percent. Wait a second. The, with the debt service, it's down. Mm-hmm. What's all our interest is gone. Okay, so what's what is it now again? I'm sorry. What it, the bottom line? Yeah, is one hundred and thirty-seven thousand nine twenty-five. Down from one forty-two. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a minus three point oh five percent, and that's because last year. We paid off the equipment note, so that reduced that by twenty five hundred dollars. So the one forty, the one million four seventy two becomes one million. Well, let's not change the bottom line until we get to the bottom. Oh, all right. All right. Let's see. Okay. Here. Let's oh, go okay. through. There's some rules here. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like some bad news. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, no. I just want to keep going to make sure okay. there's not yeah. any more. Sure. It takes good to go through this like this. Um, highway department. You already oh, you just, just heard that, that one. So we can skip the next two pages. Hold on, I'm going to sail through this one. Mm -hmm. um, cemetery submitted an even budget. Mm -hmm. Recreation, he submitted a budget and he added, wants, wanted to add $500 for a facility maintenance fund. He wants to start building a fund. Um, uh, Dorinda? Mm -hmm. Do we already have a facility facility maintenance fund? No, you want to start it. It's new. Okay, that's got to be done by the town voters. I just mm -hmm. want to make a note of that. That's got to be an article. Okay, so he can't just add no. that. All right, well, there we go. But 
knowing that's in there, we can put it on the town warning, right? Absolutely. Or do we, we have to do it sure before? No, you can put it on. You can put it on the town warning and just bring it to the voters. No big deal. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. So let's not forget that. Yeah. Um, and he had taken and um, he reduced his number of hours. Um, so the payroll section went down on his because he said he was going to work less hours. But then he increased his zoning hours. So, um, <clears throat> decreased them here, but, but increased, increased them, them there. there. Yeah. So, yeah, um, that's does he get compensated the same amount? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so it kind of was um, a little bit of a wash mm -hmm. there. And where did he put a 2% in? Uh, he didn't. I reflected 2%. He doesn't put anything in. I just increased it 2%. Um, Can I ask you about the cemetery when you say they submitted? Is that their, our somewhat private cemetery? It doesn't fund their private cemetery. This but is all are they, in, they, they are they in charge of our, our other cemeteries? cemeteries. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, let's see. So zoning this. So there wasn't a. I added in, and this was not in his budget. A thousand dollars for legal fees <laughs> under zoning. Good idea. Um. I don't know if that's a good number or what, but I just, it wasn't in his budget. That, that, that doesn't even buy us 10 hours. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No. <laughs> um, no, we're not. <laughs> and he increased his um, courses and seminars from $200 to $250. You know what? I'm going to bring this up right here if you don't mind. Something I already showed Peter, but go we ahead. Have, we have an issue where um, uh, our zoning administrator is also the zoning administrator in Northfield and in Mar Marshfield. Marshfield. <coughs> and so I think that if I don't know, we haven't talked to him about how he's distributing, but we should not be paying for all his education. No. If he's then taking that talent and going elsewhere. Something I think we need to discuss. And then there's a, one more thing I also want to bring up. Dorinda's been getting the shaft, pay-wise. You guys, when you hired Dorinda to be, when you appointed her as treasurer, she said, I would like to be compensated the same as her predecessor. And she was compensated the same as her predecessor at $27 per hour. Except then when you guys made the motion to change all part-time, to make all part-time employees $20, $20 an hour, what happened was poor Dorinda got a demotion from set twenty-seven to twenty. I thought she dollars. was now earning thirty-one dollars. No, that she's talking about delinquent tax collector. Not for treasurer. No, I'm for treasurer. Okay. Well, then correct. What? Oh, because why it's elected. Okay. Uh, now I'm confused. Right. <laughs> because the we elect touch her pay seven dollars an hour. No, no, no. <laughs> she just said no. The treasurer position remained the same, but when you made you brought all. You made the motion that all other part-time employees yeah. had was to be at twenty dollars an hour, which was supposed and to be an increase. Well, for, for, every, for everybody else, for everybody, else. <laughs> everybody but you. Else. <laughs> so your treasurer is the same, the and your delinquent went down. This, the delinquent dropped from the whatever it was down to the twenty. Yeah. We stopped. When did, that, when did that happen? When you guys voted in the <laughs> like a year ago. Yeah. A year ago. <laughs> Over a year ago. <laughs> yeah, more than a year ago. So, so. And that's the worst part of that job, frankly. Well, that's okay. I, I mean, it's not that many hours, and I'm not really running for that position. So. Oh. What? You're not running for it? You want to be the delinquent tax collector when everybody gets this tax bill next year? <laughs> <laughs> no, and I can't because I'm on the select board. I know, but I'm just saying that. You mean we're not well, going to have anyone running? Well, that isn't, that isn't no, fair, right? We ought, to, we ought to fix that. Yeah, I mean, that was never well, our intent. Exactly. Well, that was okay. So however many, like, hour, however many hours that is, you should get that should, money back. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean I, it. I, I think yeah. you should. I mean, I think the bigger question is going forward in the budget, whoever is going to be doing that job. What I wouldn't want to do that job for any less than that. Well, I'm just saying. So that's what it well, should be based on. But because 
the motion was passed in that manner that yeah. that's that was an happened. unintended consequence. No, but that's okay. Right. Mm -hmm. No, it's not okay. Yeah. <laughs> now that we know about it, we should fix so it. That's not part of the budget. Okay. Well, what All I right. want to, what I was picking up on the point that Sarah made. Is it okay for Mitch to have two other jobs doing the same thing? It's fine for him to have yes. other jobs. Yes, we should not be fine. paying 100% of his education expense. Well, I understand that, but we don't know if we are. Well, we just, we are. She gets the invoices, so because she knows she just, we are. He just signed up for a seminar. That it's only a sixty dollar seminar, but that's the cost of the seminar. So should it be split? Mm. Should we? Well, what if he signed up for another seminar and submitted it? Well, well, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. the question is, do we want to? I'm not worried about the sixty dollars. No. no, we should tell him he needs we to should. split it up. Yeah. yeah. But that, I think anyway. that to me that wasn't a budget item. That is more something that no. it just yeah. isn't right. And, and I'm sure he. You know, yeah. if he thought about it, he'd realize it isn't right. Yeah, I think that's right. Too. Yeah. So, Dorina, how much? Rough. Uh, I don't know, but I'm not okay. going to get would, into it now. Would you, would you get the number for me, yeah. though? Yeah. Seriously? Yes. Yeah. Please? Okay. okay. Um, so, that is so zoning board of adjustment went up 9.5%. Planning commission, um, again, theirs is up um, due to the extra money they're asking for. For the consult, um, this consultant when they presented their budget. Yeah. When did they do their budget? You, I think they were the very first, first ones to yeah. come in. I gotta find yeah. my notes from that. Yeah, very first. I mean, the consultant, the idea was if we're gonna do um, a zoning redo, it makes you're sense have to, to pay for a consultant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. It makes right. Sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what's the what's the grand number okay, now? Okay, so the grand number now. <laughs> Wait a second. Where do we get, are we gonna find? Bottom it? line, last oh, page. Okay, so total good. budget. A hundred and one million three hundred and fifteen thousand o sixty eight, and that's what's a ten point seven one percent increase. Better than twenty three. Yep. That's better than twenty three percent. Yeah. 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 That looks good now. Yeah. Looks good. Good. yeah. yeah. I'm going, man, oh man. Yeah. Wow, we go. saved a lot of money right off yeah. the bat. <laughs> and we're spending it. So. Yeah. Um, so that's, I should have some of these firm numbers, I hope. But by, next. Well, I don't know okay, if so we'll just, the next but one by the just quickly, second meeting. Just quickly. Second meeting in December. And I know it's really late and everybody's tired. I don't like the 2%. I don't think that's enough. I don't think it's enough for the road. I don't think it's enough for anybody. What's inflation at right now? It's higher than that. It's what? Higher than that, yeah. It's right around is two. It, it some, right around some, two? Depending on which one you look at, yeah. it's 1.8 right. to 2.2. Right. right. Yeah. What, what, what are you hearing that people are um, either asking for or getting? I'm not, Mary. I but, mean, I'm not but hearing. That, that's not a raise. Yeah. That's, just, that's just keeping people in the right. same place. So yeah. to me, I, I can tell you, the road crew is going to push back big time on 2%. I don't think it's fair or right to have it be 2%. Right. So right. I don't know what the magic number well, is. I don't know if it's 3%, 4%, but it's no raise at 2%. Yeah. I mean, the thing that worries me about the road crew is, you know, we don't want to be in a situation where we're training people and then losing them, you know, to Waterbury or Wartown or Waitsfield. Um, when a well, I spent more, some. I spent some time. Keep them here, and I'll spend some more time looking at. We have that compensation book over here. Okay. And we are we are apparently from that, from what I can tell, much better off than we used to be. So we're not okay. way in the hole like okay. we used to be. Right. We've been steadily yeah. okay. climbing out. So of we've been doing, we've been doing some good work. So yeah. I, I don't want to propose anything crazy, but no. I don't think two percent is enough. Why don't you plug it in at three percent and four percent? See what those show us what that's going to be, but that would be helpful. Yeah. Yeah. You, you've got idea. some people that uh, with some with some tenure now, don't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, we do. Paul just went to 10 years in October, I think, September or October. Well, so. is, is, there, is there any way to uh, even vary the percentage based upon some? Tenure? Very dangerous. Yeah, I don't, I, the base, I'd rather not the, do the that. The base rate is, is, is theoretically, there are differences in pay based on tenure, 
So the percentage, oh, okay. if you do it by a percentage, okay. it just continues that difference. Okay. Yeah. I guess is the way I would justify right. that. Is that supposed to be? Yeah. A minute. Uh, I, oh boy. So if you went to 3%, it would bring the total budget to an 11.02% increase. And if you I'm sorry, give me that number again. 3% takes it from 10.71. 11.02. 11 11.02. 11 okay. So about a half. Of these are just, and I'm just doing this roughly here. Yeah. But, um, and if you did it at four percent, I think it would bring the budget to um, 11.34 percent. That's it. That's amazing that it goes up so little. Between yeah. three and well, we got a lot of other expenses. Yeah. That's what that, that's what that means. But all all I'm saying is, uh, I think I think, four I think three is, too is high. yeah. I'm not so sure it's too high, Mary. And I'm I want to I want to think about it, and I want all of you to think about it. And I will. You know, when you're a, when you're a guy, hours. when you get a when you get a one percent increase know, in your paycheck, effectively. Yeah, yeah. you lost money. That yeah. isn't much. You lost. Yeah. yeah. You're going backwards. Yeah. And again, from the budget committee's perspective, I, no, we're, nobody else is asked to get up at one or two <laughs> in the morning and go out there in that crap. Right. And, well, and it isn't just the, it isn't just the road. I mean, the road crew is the is a is a big chunk of it, but it isn't just the road crew. It's all the people who are doing yep. work for us every day. And I don't. I'm not. I'm not advocating for four, Mary. I'm just saying. I think we all need to think about it, and I want to try and poke around and see what I could find, and I would encourage everybody else to poke around and see what, Steve, if you could do a little poking around in the in the construction world and see what uh, mm -hmm. what's going on out there. I'll do, do a little poking around in the business world. You and can see do what school, schools. Oh, but they have contracts. Yeah, yeah although, although most of their um, custodial and maintenance people are uh, annual? Are, do not, yeah. Hmm. I just uh, I often on the other contract. Select board chair, may I speak? They, they yes. So I just did a quick Google on uh, wage increases projected for private employees in 2020, and the magic number was 3.3. Huh. Yeah. Imagine that. Unemployment's really low right now. It is. It is it's very hard low. To find people. <laughs> well, there's the there's there's the other problem. If heaven forbid. You lose somebody, even if it's only, even if it's only the poor delinquent company. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Skiers <laughs> apparently are having a real hard time hiring for uh, just yeah. lift operators and stuff. Where normally there's, you know, been a. Gee, been Aubergines, people around the world. we were just talking about. They I, can't hire. They, they can't, can't get people. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm just saying. I think that's that's the big elephant in the room, as mm -hmm. far as I'm concerned. I mean, we can we can make decisions <clears throat> about about. Other other budget items on here and and save a little money here and there, but the payroll is one place I don't want to save money. No. Did you say you were going to send those out to us with the the with changes? The changes. Yeah. I can. I. I'll, uh, yeah. If okay. you would, that would be great. Could you add three point three and three point five as well? <laughs> Mary, I think I think if she gives you three and four, you can figure out yeah. quick. Yeah. We're, we're, we're already we're making five. those two figures. You got it. That's, yeah. that's fifth grade math, not <laughs> high school. Life. That's harder than you think. <laughs> well, whatever. Um, I'm just saying with those numbers, we can do the. Yeah. But does every going back? Does everyone agree? That we should correct that error and or into space. Yes. Yes, absolutely. No okay. question. So you need, don't don't yes. wave no. your hand like no. that. No. That was we never want those never our intent. And, should be corrected. and it just blew by us. I'm, so, right. I'm yep. glad it was brought to our attention though. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Yep. Sarah. Yep. Um, <laughs> You're gonna get her a really nice gift now yeah. for Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You've earned it. So budget committee. Thank you. Any any thoughts or comments other than you're all turning pale like we are? No, no. Actually, well, I mean, now it's only 10 to 11 yeah. versus yeah, 23. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I saw that number and I went, oh, my God. I, I, I can hear really like quite yeah. comfortable with, yeah. with uh, what I heard tonight. 
good. Good to make an time. error like that, then we feel better at the yeah. end. Well, I know it. See, I start out with that, and then I like the mood. <laughs> Look at that. Now we're smiling. I mean, there, there's going to be a little. There's going to be a little bracket yeah. creep because there are a lot of these. Yeah. A lot of these plug out apps that Dorinda's put in there are last years, like the insurance, like some right. of the other things. And I want to make up a little bit. So. And I want those numbers that I gave you for the increases. I want to make sure that carry forward, like the. Associated yeah, yeah, all yeah, all those the other fees. Yeah. 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 Because I you got a little homework to do before you can send that mm -hmm. out. Yeah. But I will well, with, send it. Without doing what needs to be done on the roads, I don't see any alternative to this increase. No. Yeah, I think with the weather, roads are just, they need more than they used to. Well, and I, I meant what I said about mm -hmm. these state mandates. What the state is yeah. making yeah. us do makes it, I don't know what the percentage is, but it's got to be. 40 or 50 percent more to line those ditches with stone than it is just oh, yeah. to dig them out and yeah. hydro seed them. Yeah. It's got to be. So that's a huge yeah. number. Did you have any inkling they were going to order this? I mean, had they been talking about requiring the stones in the ditches for a number of years? Well, no, no. This all came from this Clean Water Act, and then it just got pushed down to the towns, and I knew that they were coming in some direction, but they're... But it they're came from transportation, not from the environmental agency? Which DEC? Environmental conservation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's... And the a, Clean Water Act, you know, the Clean Water Act, Water Act yeah. is, a, is a good thing, but it's a big expense, and it just irritates the hell out of me that the state just, you know, pushes it off on the towns and cities, and, you know, where's their share in this? They, well, the Clean Water Act is a federal thing, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, but I'm, but I'm just yeah. saying, you you would think, and I, believe me, I know the state's facing all of, all the problems that we're facing around this table, the state's facing. So right. We, yeah. Their budget situation is not, is not, uh, Still, is not easy yeah. either. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dorinda, for that. Yeah. Um, so I think that's going to conclude our, so, so when do we want to finalize this budget? First meeting in January? When's our first meeting in January? What's the date? It's Wednesday. I've got to get back there. Um, Oops, I can't do it on my calendar. Yeah, I didn't bring my, I don't have my calendar with uh, me. I'll go in a second, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's going to be the 6th? Uh, no, it's the 6th. Yeah, it's the 6th. Yeah, it's the 6th. 7th and 21st. I'll be here for the 7th. Excellent. Where are you going for the 21st? I'll probably just stay home. <laughs> Stay home and try and figure out how you're going to pay your property tax bill. No, I'm going to have right. hip surgery on the 15th. Uh, oh, oh. oh. I'm my brother had hip surgery today. Wow. What? I said my brother had hip surgery today. Oh, your brother? Wow. I was like, you can't hip. possibly have had hip surgery <laughs> being here. Wow. Yeah, yeah. really. That's so, dedication. Uh, yeah. so I guess what what I would suggest in the meantime is. And I don't know how we want to do it, but in terms of the budget committee, if you have any any thoughts or ideas, let us know. We'll have a little quick update budget discussion yep. uh, at our meetings in December as as uh, Dorinda gets some of these some of these final numbers. I don't I'll think unless sure. you want to, I don't think you need to come to those meetings. Okay. Um, you're welcome anytime, of course. But if you plan on being here for the seventh. And we'll keep you updated in the loop in the I'll meantime. Say, that's that's right. Right. But, but seriously, I, I'm, I, I, I'm expecting then on the seventh that we're going to see the same. In terms of the, what the road came, road people came up with, the road people, Paul came up with. I, I, I'm expecting that number is going to be the same. If it's going to be, there's some significant reduction. I'd like, like to know in advance because. Well, I, if we discover, if we discover an error or there's some, but we're. Not an error. Which, right. Whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll try and keep you posted, posted on, yeah. Yeah. Uh, on, on what the changes are in the meantime. And, you know, we'll, we'll put, uh, Sarah, are you listening? On the December meetings, put a little budget update discussion in each agenda. And if you guys want to, want to stop by for that, you're more than, more than welcome. But mostly it's going to be putting in those... Replacing those plug numbers with real numbers. Yeah, I, I mean, to, to, I, I promise, I, I've had people, I promised people that I'd stand up for trying to get something done this year, and, and, and we've talked about it. I won't say who I've talked to, but pretty obvious. Doesn't matter. Talked to. Yeah. And, and, uh, and you guys came in 
with what, I, what sounds to me like a reasonable something I can go back and say, I think they're doing the best they can. And then I, I just hate to see those numbers get fiddled with. Yeah. We hear you. Yeah. Thank you. And we appreciate the support. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You probably won't You're see welcome. me in the second. I know, because Sorry. somebody is about to be a dad. Be like, oh, maybe. Oh, it's oh, oh, hey. 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 Oh, my God. That's yeah. exciting. Yeah. Is she at the hospital now? <laughs> no, 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 no. In December, she'll be in the hospital. She'll do it in December, so who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Congratulations, Jay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hi. You're welcome. I'm staying for CB Fiber. I'm going to hear the updates. Well, I'm going to be fat real fast, seeing, That's considering right. the time. And I have one more thing under the treasurer's okay. report. Oh, I, I included in your packets the closing <laughs> letter from Bachelor. Yes, oh, thank yeah. you. I saw that. So I need just a motion to and have Peter sign it as uh, I think Peter has I, to I it. knew there was something I hadn't done. I got the audit. What do we just read it? Well, you, agree, the, you, ex you accepted it, but oh, I just I don't know if you need a motion to have somebody sign this. And it doesn't say who needs to. The uh, this came addressed to Peter and the select board. Right, I think it should so, go to Peter anyway. Yeah. And so it's does like Peter fair. sign this as uh, maybe Peter and I'll sign it? So can, I think you and I should sign. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. Yeah. So we we did accept that we last time. We accept last. Okay. the budget. Can, and yeah. So you don't need us just, to accept it again. This is part of her communication. Yeah. It yeah. says that. This, uh, she provided a recommendation letter and a management report of her findings, and before she can release the cop audit, she needs a signed piece of paper. Right. So I can have Peter sign it. And I'll okay. sign so this it. is perfect. This is what we're looking at, right? That, yeah. Well, this is there's two things. There's, there's two things. There's oh, okay. one, Only one with a signature. One that requires a signature. One is just a communication of her conclusions. Okay, that's this. And one. then this is the one that has to go back to her, signed, saying we were in agreement that's with all that that's stuff. Okay. Yeah. Is this a new requirement, or did we did do this even when we had? Um, we didn't do it when we had the Akavoni back when I was on the board. No, this is a know. new, this and there's a whole bunch of new stuff coming around for next year, so, yeah. so get ready. This is all required for what? Controls over towns or controls over accountants? I think who's? they're being more When you diligent. say they, who's they? The auditors, they, they're being more diligent about yeah. what, because of everything that's All happening the in the town. The towns. So they want to make sure that the select board knows what they They want to make sure they don't doing. get sued um, right. because they, they overlook something or the town right. raises something later. Okay, so it's coming from the accountants. So, Doreen, have you gone through, have you read this over? I read it, yeah. you know, and some of it I, you know, she's not saying anything. There's a couple of things. I mean, this one is what she found and her recommendations are all in here but she's basically said in her summary that we met all the criteria she found um that everything was in compliance with the recommended accounting practices and all of that and then she had some recommendations which i talked to patty and our new person that's going to be coming on board about and so yeah they just were minor ones did you also as part of your treasury report mm -hmm. give us the trust funds i noticed down here it says there's a recreation trust fund for this five thousand mm -hmm. dollars well then why does um why does mitch need to set that trust fund up that we're supposed to ask for permission for I, mean, I don't know if he was asking to set it up or if he well, was asking Sarah to Well, Sarah said we had it. to get, we whenever had to have, have a, a vote. Fund, whenever a fund is created. The Facility is maintenance is, oh, so it's different? I mean, which, Yeah, I, I don't know. There's a recreation fund already in so place. So that's it. You could probably just do I mean, that. I mean, the, what, the, what the fund does, as you know, is it allows you to roll over money from year over year. Yeah. Right. And so the voters have to say, yes, that's okay. You can keep our money and keep using it a year after year. And that's so why we, couldn't he get money out of his recreation fund? Well, I think thing. he was trying to, like, when he said, you'd have to ask him as far as what he wanted. I think maybe, let me look and see what he said he wanted to do with the money. But if you deplete the fund, you know, I think his point was to put money into it. But um, I think that I think what's in the fund has been 
historically used for equipment, and this fund is for the buildings. Yeah, I think it was for the buildings. I'd have to go through the town records and see if there was any yeah. talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we need to pay attention. The point is well taken. He we need to pay attention to these funds. And he said it's for a grant application to do redo the tennis court that he wants. But we already a have it, and this it, this fund. I mean, mostly it was when we had that building. Well, so wasn't it set up for that building that we used to have? So we when they did the ice federal skating, government so. when they did the Bill what Kelman. Building? What building we used to have? We Little still have it. I know, but I mean, we used to actually open it and use it, and it had a bathroom, and you'd sell <laughs> cocoa and stuff like that. Point so. well taken, Mary. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't just storage. <laughs> right. Well, couldn't he use this the fund we already have for that? Unless. I don't know if there was anything when that's it was what, set up, if it was just designated. We need to find, yeah, out. We need to find out if there was anything. This yeah. fund shall be used for thus and such. Right. You know? right. I mean, a tennis court might fall underneath it better than an actual facility. Well, it sounds like what he's probably talking about is refinishing yeah. the court. Probably. So big right. that money. Yeah, yeah. 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 Big it costs money. a lot. It, yeah. the and that's why right. he was looking to start building the fund because it's well, going to be far more than... what's the one here? That's for a roads resurfacing, I believe, no. isn't it? Yeah. No, no. Oh, well, we've got a paving fund. Oh, that's right. And I don't know what. Oh, you're looking at the funds. Yeah, I'm looking at the funds. There's three thousand two hundred twenty-six thirty-two. Do you, do you have another up. one uh, copy? Oh, for I have tons. Yeah. yeah, I just was cleaning up the mess here. Paving fund. Just at the funds, though. Okay. Oh, oh, that. No. no Oh, those, no, well, we, can certainly, we can certainly take Here. the 16 cents take from the fund. ancient roads fund. Right, and those That's are no problem. That they should be closed out or whatever, but technically we have to be careful how we do it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, with that resurfacing fund. I don't know what it is. I'd have I, to I would it bet that it's for the tennis courts. You think I, think you're so. right. I would bet it would be. It's not for the road. Yeah, what else are you it's not call, Just yeah. call Bill Kalman. I bet he'll confirm that that was exactly what that was for. And it probably went in con in concert with the the federal grant that we got for building the rec. The rec yep. Yep. Yeah, we have four cents in the planning commission fund. <laughs> what, 16 cents in the ancient roads? I know. Of course, back then you could build a road for 16 cents. No, no, that was, I think, when we did our, wasn't the ancient roads the study that we did study, when we yeah. were throwing oh, them Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Uh, but What's you, the town garage fund? That, that's, that's the one you guys that's started. That's the one we started. Yeah, last year, so that we is that the one to, when well, we were we doing that have, oil yeah, tank and stuff? This is a discussion for another time, yeah, but I mean, but I have one we should have one fund. building fund. I mean, I, it we doesn't need make a capital crazy. budget with it too. Right. I mean, you know, a, yeah. a, a plan. All right. Okay. Let's approve capital. our minutes. How about that? Okay. I'll make that motion. Yeah. I'm yeah. losing my stuff here rapidly. All in favor of approving the minutes from the November fifth. 2019 select board minute aye. meeting say aye. aye aye any opposed okay phil update on cb okay i'm just going to really try to go very quickly uh cb fiber is now moved to meeting twice a month um oh. always yeah. on tuesdays uh always on tuesdays yes um but Second things are moving re moving on really quickly and, and really well right now um, we've passed, I think, just over $100,000 that we've received in grants from various sources and another five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 in donations. Um, it's been very hard to get, get donations, but uh, we <clears throat> have just sent out an RFP for a consultant who's going to do our feasibility study. Um, we've already collected an awful lot of data to give to them to start so they don't have to collect it all. And then after the feasibility study, we move on to the business plan. That should put us in position to go to uh, Vermont Economic Development um, Council um, for about $4.5 million um, for the first phase of the, of the project. And um, that I don't know, that would allow us to build out maybe 100 miles of fiber, mm -hmm. um, somewhere mm -hmm. in that range. Um, how long is it going to take your consultant to come back with this plan? I, I don't know yet until, you know, I haven't, built, at the next meeting we're going to start vetting uh, consultants. Um, we've been conducting surveys, in fact I just dropped some paper surveys off and 
and ask Sarah to hit people up if they haven't done it. But so far, Middlesex by far has had the highest response rate of any of the with 17 Good towns. So now it's but 18. I think that there has to. You've been putting stuff out on front yeah. page forum, yeah. and I think that's yeah. made yeah. a huge. Yeah. And I think if we can pick up some more through paper, and then the uh, what is it? The infrastructure uh, committee from uh, what's next Middlesex. Yeah. Um, has offered to do some canvassing, uh, you know, door to door. So we'll see. I want to. But why aren't the other people from the other towns doing what you're hey, doing? Hey, Mary, that, that, that's up to uh, them. I, <laughs> I don't want. I don't, I don't want to encourage them because uh. when it comes comes down to it, it in fact may make a difference as far as and where where it starts. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Feasibility study is going to look at that and say, hey, Middlesex is hot to do this. We've got a lot of people who are interested. Uh, well, we've got people who are willing to sign up now, um, and that will, I mean, I mean, it means a lot in terms of focusing that. It also means a lot when you go to ask somebody for $4.5 million. Um, so that's, that's where that's at. Yeah. Quick, down and dirty. Okay. Um, computers. <clears throat> I went, um, I did ha still have a business account. Uh, in Dell, so I figured out my password again and went back in and, and, and looked at this and then uh, talked to Dorinda and uh, Patty and, and Amy yes, yesterday. Um, what I was looking at basically for, um, for the listers and for Patty are kind of mid-level business class machines. So that have high reliability, they're speedy, they've got a lot of good storage. And they're set up with Windows 10, and they have the Office product fully installed. We don't need professional. We only need home and business. Nobody uses Access, so we don't, don't need to pay for that. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at about $2,500 a machine for those machines. The one for Patty would be a little less, maybe two grand, because she does not need a keyboard, mouse, or monitor, which she already has. So that brings the price down a little bit there. And then I'd spec laptops um, because the listers had asked for a laptop and we had talked about replacing Dorinda's and I guess you and Amy decided you're going to try to share. Well, you can, I think to have two portable laptops probably is crazy, so there's no reason why not to use one. She doesn't use hers at the same time I use mine, um, so I don't think you really need to at yeah. this point in time. So at least for now, until we get by the crunch and the problem of Windows 7 running out right. on us and the vulnerability. So if they can work that out, it saves us a chunk of money. Yep. And again, here I didn't. I, I, I looked at business class machines, but I did not even really go to mid-level machines. I just figured it's, it's got to have enough storage. It needs to have Office, needs to be Windows 10, and it needs to be reasonably fast. So we're talking about a machine that's probably twelve hundred dollars. Um, so all in all, we're what twenty five, forty five, fifty five, fifty seven hundred. Um, there's probably some shipping. We're tax exempt, so that um, wouldn't doesn't matter. Um, and they will take a purchase order. I can set up an account for us to, and it's. It's, it's going to be touch and go here for a little bit, but because it'll take a few, it, it takes probably 10 days by the time you put in an order to, to get them delivered. Uh, I did talk to Tech Group. They are willing to do the setup um, for us, and we can see how things go. With and how them. much would they charge for that? Um, I haven't had a chance to really follow that up um, or find out hourly prices versus what we would, would pay uh, for RB. Anyway, so that's that. Email. Um, I did some checking around uh, with some of the discussions I'd originally had with Tech Group and figured out the best solution for us is to go to Network Solutions, which is the oldest registrar, and they sell email services. And Sarah and I went through and made a list, um, and it depends on how we divide these up. They sell their email addresses in blocks of 10. So I'm hoping we can keep it. Um, uh, around 30 as opposed to having to jump up and buy 40. Um, their email is um, $1.42 a mailbox per month. So for a year, we're talking about, I don't know, three, 340 or so. 
and you pay it one shot. You just they'll again take a purchase order. We pay it one time. Three hundred and forty dollars. Yeah. Um, because we don't need all the stuff that RB was talking. We don't need the office, you know, in the cloud right, product. Right. We just want email. The only other thing we need is archiving. Mm -hmm. We've got our own server, and again, rather than paying monthly or yearly fees, we can buy um, we can buy an archiving product that's I think around two hundred and fifty dollars, and we install it, and it's there, and we archive onto our server, but then that's backed up to the cloud with whoever we're using first. So it's redundant. Okay. So I think that gets us um, gets us the email, gets us compliant with archiving um, for a lot, lot less than going the office three sixty five. Way less. Way less. Yeah. Well, and everybody they were talking what were they talking for a mailbox for a month? Fifteen crazy. bucks like, per person or yeah. something. Yeah. 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 Hey, Paul, did you, what about this computer? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that computer. The one that nobody uses? Oh, well, no. Oh, no. It does use a lot. Who uses it? All the researchers, yeah. in, and, you know, Mitch will use it, but people come in when they do a search that's that is connected to our land records. Oh, yeah. okay. Or it's gotcha. connected to an online portal right. to the land records. Right. So, yeah, that computer has significant problems, but one of the things I was thinking about, if we can actually make this work, and I don't know whether or not we can, would then be to take and repurpose Patty's laptop uh, over there as the public computer and see if there's some way in hell we can actually put Windows 10 on that, on that machine. Um, maybe, although, huh? oh, we may not be. I have to, someday when I have time, I have to come down and sit and look at the specs. Although, I got thinking after, well, you and I were talking about um, netbooks, not um, netbooks, Chromebooks. Uh, Chromebooks. Why can't we just use a Chromebook? There? I mean, you can buy a Chromebook for 200 bucks. There's no reason why, I mean, RB comes in, all they, they are always working on that computer, but they don't have to work on that computer no. if you have a Chromebook. Right. It's less expense there, too. Right. No, no antivirus. So, so, so wait a minute. So, slow down. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of having a real computer there, mm -hmm. we have a Chromebook. So what happens when RV comes in here? Well, they want to. They're going to have to use your computer or somebody else's. No, they go in there to service that computer. They probably, when they come in here and get on the network, I'm assuming they get on with their own laptops. Well, they get, no, so they, on remotely, on, on Wednesday, mm -hmm. on Wednesday yeah, nights, remotely, because remote they always come in and, and, and RB has been on that computer. Okay. I don't know what they're doing, but here's my only question. If I have a Chromebook there, can we print to that computer? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Should be able to. It's on the network. That's uh, all, it's, mm -hmm. it's the access, there's nothing, it's not like Marika's computer. It's not like you're computing. It's not like you're computing. All you're doing is going online to this 2020 Perfect Vision land records and accessing that that land yeah, records. And that's all in the cloud, right? And that's all in the cloud. That's all online. So everything basically is browser based on a Chromebook. So if you want to get check your email, anybody can check their email if they want. They just sign on using a browser. Yeah, but they don't. When they don't. No. They're just they, checking land records and printing stuff off. That's the only way they use that. When that first was set up, it was kind of a. We're providing to the people of Middlesex a public computer. Yeah. No one's ever used it like that no. in the seven That's years what I've been here. Yeah. Nobody's ever used it. No, but that is the access for land records. People come and they search. This is what Lee's doing, archiving uh -huh. all the way back. Yeah. So they can go all the way back to 2000 and then, you know, print off there. Yeah. Survey maps, too. Okay. So that might be the cheapest way to go. I mean, that's cheaper than buying a copy of Windows alone probably costs 200, sure. 200, 200 yeah. How much? About, uh, would you say like 150 to 200 150, bucks? 200 bucks? 200 bucks, yeah. yeah. Probably just for, the, just for just Windows. For Windows. Um, and then it wouldn't have Office. So, I mean, and again, no you know. No uses that for that. Mm -hmm. There's no reason to have it. So that might be the way to go with that one is just spend another couple hundred bucks. And, well, let's uh, order up the three computers that we know we really have to have right off. Okay. That one is a Windows 7, too, though. I just want you to know. Yeah, but a Chromebook, I mean, the way to do that, I'll, someday I'll just go up to Best Buy and see what the best deal is and just buy one. We just have to get ACS to give us to the access Actually, to that. Actually, I think they're on sale at Costco right now. Are they? I got the flyer at home. On okay. My daughter wants one. Yeah, they are all through the whole year. Yeah. They're, they're really cheap. And they're okay, so I'll go in, I'm going to go in and set up an account for the town of Middlesex. 
and get those specs out. Um, Do we have a town credit card? Uh, well, Dell will let us hey, yeah. oh, do really? a PO. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. Right. So I'll pop, I'll put all the specs in. They'll look at everything. They'll <laughs> tell me what the shipping is. I'll get a final quote. I'll give that to you so that we can get a PO, um, and then I probably just have to scan it and send it in to them. And you know, we'll have that stuff here sometime in December. Yeah, because it's going to be, you know, it's going to be Christmas, and then yeah. it's going to be right. I mean, it's already Christmas. Right. If you go in any of the stores, so okay. So with the email, we don't have it, it's not going to be catastrophic if we don't have it the first no. of January. But we no. need to have it ASAP. Yeah, exactly. What happens on the first of January? No longer supporting Windows Seven. But it still works. It still, yeah. still works. works but there would be no more security no. patches. No right. more. Right. And immediate, you know, well, immediately, the hackers will be out in <laughs> force, <laughs> force on January second. Okay, sure. so like I have one in my office. I barely use it. But yes. what should I do? Get off it. Buy a new yeah. computer. Well, sure. you can you can upgrade, but you're gonna you're gonna spend you're gonna spend five hundred dollars to upgrade your machine if you even can. Yeah, mine's old. I guess if so, it's not even worth it. You know, get rid of it. Take the hard drive out. Hit it with a hammer. <laughs> um, Shoot it with a gun. Yeah, and um, yeah, go to Costco or Best Buy and just buy a decent machine. Um, the uh, the email stuff. I'll I'll. I'll just set that up and I'll just buy those and I'll just give you a bill for reimbursement. So we I can so I, well, just use the company. Or I'll come down and get Because it should be on, um, put it up on automatic pay or something. That's we should do that. Uh, or you pay all of You pay them once a year. year. Yeah. So pay once a year. Yeah. 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 Which is why I think how they're able to do that kind of pricing. Yeah. You know, they don't want to be billing you. Billing monthly. Just right. like, yeah. you know, yeah, 300 bucks. It's you know, cheap enough. Then I can start setting those up. I just decided, I told Sarah, I just decided yeah. I'm going to just do do this myself. So I'll set everybody up okay. with an email address and I'll assign everybody a temporary password and then I'll, I'll get a sheet that just says, this is how you sign on to your new email. This is what we expect you to do. And So when would they, when do you think all this would be fun up and functional? Well, I should, I, I should have the email stuff starting to move you know within a couple of weeks wow. as, as far as putting that together and then once that's done and we get the computer set up I'm you know we've laid this that's my alarm um <laughs> time to wake up have gin and time oh no <laughs> <laughs> okay I've been waiting for that. Uh, no that's the first time I've seen Doreen to smile <laughs> all <laughs> 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 uh, it's a no the damn no, meeting's what? over go home <laughs> Uh, the archiving stuff, I, you know, we're, we've gone this long. I'm not going to worry about having that done tomorrow. But as soon yeah. as we get to the point, I, we can get well, the software. Well, it's going to take a lot, you know, have it to get people up. using their new emails and get them distributed. I mean, there's yeah. not going to be a lot of it. It's going to be a gradual yeah. buildup and activity. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, it will. It will. So anyway, that's where we stand. And it'll keep it'll it'll keep emails for some period of time, right? Mm -hmm. Without the archiving. Yeah. I, mean, I have to go keeps, back in and look. Probably. Probably keeps a year's Year, worth or yeah, something probably, without the archive. Probably, yeah. 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 So, yeah, there's yeah. no rush. So, who's the first person who's going to want to see all of our emails? <laughs> Peter, if, if you guys are done, can I just bring up a really quick issue? Really fast. Yeah. You're going to be buying the first round of drinks. <laughs> at the new, at the new um, yeah. train, train station. I like the idea of the train the station. She's going to open the vault and she's got some in there. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to bring okay, this up go, go, go. just yeah. get on the record. I had a complaint from a resident in, in Putnamville, the same person who is has been concerned about speeding, not Albie, the uh, woman. Her name just slips my mind. But she Lasko, asked, Mrs. Lasko. No, no, no. Um, she asked me to express concern uh, about the hitching posts that are going up on Route 12. Uh, she One has been placed across from her house, and she does not, she never asked for that. She doesn't want it. Um, she has some safety concerns, and she wanted the town to get involved. As far as I could see, it really wasn't a town issue. It's not any, it's a state highway. And the, oh, sorry. It's getting me a lot. So, I, I really just want to get this into the record that I brought this concern to the board. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay? So I brought this concern to the board. Hold on, just, just hold on one second. Mary. Oh, Mary. Yeah, and I agree. Um, it's not a town issue. Okay. So, so somebody has put the stitching post on their property? It's not no, they put it across the street on... Uh, in in the state's right of way, and the state gave permission to do that. The state is being promoted, promoted of uh, of this of this program. In fact, yeah, I think that. they're the ones who are giving the grant. No. 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I think so. They're the ones who give the $500. So, yeah, right. So what's... The she problem said, is she thinks people are going to be stopping there. They're going to be... What's her problem? Well, she has some concerns that I probably don't want to get on camera. But I... Um, but just because I think it's a safety issue. And so should she has safety concerns. She says, I never asked for this. This ho hitching She's hose... She's afraid people will be there and they'll break in her house or something, something like that. Something, something like along that, that line. So well, that, she should go to the state of Vermont. Mm -hmm. I, I told her that, and I asked her also to talk to Phoenix, who is running this program, you know, deal with the people. I'm just saying she wanted to, to bring to the select board. She said, I want to appear to the select board. I said, I will talk to them about it. But right now, I don't see this as a town issue. Here we are talking to the select board, asking if they think it's a town issue or anything the select board has any control over. What say you? I say it's not our fight. No. Yeah, okay, that's, well, that's fine. Yep. That's, I, just can't I don't say think it, it is. The town didn't it's a state it highway. No. Yeah. You know? I understand that, but you know, she brought the, her safe speeding concerns to us, and mm -hmm. we, that took some action. So I think she's thinking, well, I'll bring this concern and have the... So that's what I'm it's saying. a little different. Yep. A little different, okay. I'm just I just say it's different. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I just want to get it into the bracket. Yeah, you have another one. <laughs>